Oh. Really? So I wanted to see if I could put my into a recipe in, in a really yummy way. You do your breath of fire, for example. Feel your anus, feel your third eye, inhale. Squeeze that beautiful anal ring. I think it's, <laughs> that was horrible. That is a perfect, my own TikToks bum me out. That's the perfect way to your end the show. Your own TikToks bother you. When you're bummed out is when I, as by your own stuff, that's, that's how you wrap up a show. Well, welcome. Welcome to your mom's house. Don't adjust your prescription like a dad. <laughs> this is the right place to be. Welcome to your mom's house. It's another fun episode. Today's episode has us literally shaking. shaking. We're so excited. I couldn't sleep last night. I woke up at one in the morning just in anticipation of what's Two about to happen. Two people are coming in that we can't even... I mean, uh, we have a double soul shaman coming oh, in. That's that. And our old buddy... Elementary... Josh yeah. Potter's going to be here. Oh, it's such Roach. a good day. It's such a big day. Two guys that talk about their cocks a lot. <laughs> Can't well, wait. I'm curious about the double soul shaman. I have so many questions for him and how he got started and oh, how me too. it's going. Uh, everything. There's just nothing but questions. <laughs> um, real quick to plug this. I'm going to be tonight. I am in St. Augustine. Um, there is a show in a few days, but that show sold out. So we added one at the St. Augustine Amphitheater. That's tonight, uh, March 13th. And tomorrow, Orlando, Orlando, Florida. <laughs> I will be at the Kia Center. That is tomorrow, March 14th. And we released extra tickets. Salt Lake City, April 4th at the Delta Center. April 12th at Bridgestone Arena. Uh, April 13th at Spectrum Center in Charlotte. Bridgestone is Nashville, of course. And then April 14th, Raleigh at the PNC Arena. Uh, those tickets are all on sale at TomSegura.com slash tour. You said all those cities incorrectly. Short Lake Titties, Puta. Oh, my bad. What was the other one? Charlotte. Yeah. You didn't say Charlotte. Yeah. Raleigh. Rail me. Rail me. <laughs> yeah. Map, I'd like to plug my shows to Judor Titties, March 23rd. I've added an early show, not a late show, yeah. for the moms. It's a 4 p.m. show on a Saturday. Why? Because I can. I learned that I can. And then in Los Angeles, I'm doing the Masonic Lodge at the Hollywood Forever uh, Cemetery. How fun is that? And I added a late show on that one. May, May 8. 8. May 8. Mm -hmm. Dr. Drew is like fucks bitches like crazy. <laughs> That's cool. So... <laughs> Uh, we're both doing shows, having fun, big cities. Doing stuff. Oh, buy my lipstick, ChristinaPOnline.com if you haven't already. Thank there you to you everybody go. that has. And some big things are coming that lipstick way. You'll I see know. it. You're going to like the way you look. I guarantee you it. I guarantee it. Um, all right. Let's open the show real quick so we can really sure. get it into things. Here I'm we go. excited so much. Oh. 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 What the fuck's taking so long? <laughs> What's taking so long? Are you gonna be able to get my fucking my my hand too? What are you scared of? Yeah. Stop being scared. Hey, bitches! <laughs> Will you get my hand too? I relate right, to this. I feel it. Pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> Josh <laughs> Oh, I did the wrong intro. <laughs> <laughs> There you go. That there was a bonus. Go. That was yeah. Josh Potter. Don't bring it. I kind of like it now. Your mom in the fucking stand. Welcome to oh. your mom's house with Tom Segura, Tom Segura, and Christina Pajitsi. Welcome to your mom's house. No, 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 no. Shaking with anticipation. I can't, I can't, um, I can't control yeah, it. so quick update. These dad eyes yeah. are really becoming dads now. I yeah. um, I went yesterday. I uh, had my eyes checked. I don't have BVD. What is BVD? It's butthole vagina disease. 
and I don't oh. have it. Um, <laughs> but they did. They did up my prescription. They're like, that's all that's going on. You just need a little stronger. You're strip. just getting older and you're dying and decaying. Yeah. And, and what they tell you too. is that everybody, this is the way the, the doctor said it. She said, everybody's stabilizers um, weaken over time. Yeah. And then there's just kind of comes a time usually where they just kind of plateau. Like that's where it is. You know, like they stop getting worse. Okay. So she's like, right now. They just are getting weaker. So then you're going to get worser and then it's going to stop getting just, worser. That's kind of what they say. Yeah. Hey, that's kind of cool. Cause mine have gotten worse or two yeah. on days like this when I'm tired. I so got wear. these are the one, these are actually the old, the, the new ones are getting made. They're like, we really need to send them off to get the, yeah. So these are my old ones, but shit. I like the other ones better that yeah. you were wearing. I know. The ones you can't find. Yeah, me too. Those are a lot cooler. These are too small because your head's very large. Thank you. And you need larger glasses to accommodate the enormity of your brain size. Thank you. I know. I can't find those anywhere. I know. We'll fi really... I'll find them. It's because the seeker hasn't been on it. Yeah. You need to put me on the case. Listen, I have a total washlet update for everybody. I know we've all been on tender hooks wondering when the total washlet in our home will be. It's a big be. deal. The Toto toilet, actually, not just yeah. the washlet. I just got an update. Toto has all the information they need. We're waiting on them to schedule someone. Yeah. I mean, how long is that shit well, going to take? That's what I'm going to say. How long am I going to be mashing shit into my butt? <laughs> I hate it so much. I hate it so much. I had to shit to shower today again. Oh, Jesus. It's like the Silver Lake days, Tom. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Annie, how long do you spend at the mall? Oh, me? Mm-hmm. Uh, all day, nigga. <laughs> Just Very you know cool. me personally, I don't know. Yeah, how All long day. you niggas ball? <laughs> All day. And he has this. All day. All day. We don't say that. All day. Mm. And he's got the gift of finding nigga. The song. There, <laughs> there we go. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. He keeps trying to dare me to say that last bit. And All I'm like, day, nigga. Yeah, oh! that's right. I mean, that's how you say it. Man, ain't that crazy? That was like my fucking like second month of working with y'all. You're like, could you do something for me? And then the way that you said it. <laughs> you just come in the booth like, ah, I got something to do. <laughs> I'm like, what is this? You're like, well, I'll just go to that mic real quick. <laughs> Say something for me. So Hot sauce is the best. Yeah, I know. Yeah, but Annie's gift is finding these songs and then cool songs, and then we go back. Who sings that? Uh, who's uh, that's Rippity yay. rapping? Who? That's Yay. That is Yay. Yeah, that's Yay. That's he is at the mall a lot. He loves. He the loves mall. The, the mall. Who it's doesn't? It's a fashion. Yeah, oh, I will say this. It's fashion icon. Ma, you yeah. know the mall, mall. Certain malls are pretty. There's here's the malls have <laughs> like opposite ends of the spectrum. We were Potter and I, interestingly enough, were just talking about this really depressing mall. Like when a mall goes under, it is the saddest place yeah. to be. Yeah. But a pop and mall, it's, it's a fun best. thing. It's There's a fun vibe, man. Nothing greater than taking. It's your very kids American to the mall. too. I feel like to be like the fucking mall, man. Because <laughs> <laughs> it's just it's depressing. It's just stores. It's just commercialism. And ice you know? cream. Yeah. yeah. It's just yeah. But I remember like every time like cousins would visit, they're like, "All you have is stores and of malls," course. and you're like, "Yeah, that's that's us." We're, but I think that my malls. my dad liked the mall because this is like in Europe, you sit down, you watch people. Yeah. And he would just sit on a bench and watch the fat people or ugly people walk by. And if they comment create. On their Looks. the right vibe in there it is a nice experience right and then also if you live in oppressively hot places yeah you know it's kind of like that was like a nice escape in woodland hills you know oh, it'd be 110 hills, best mall go to that mall topanga plaza yeah high high value mall lots of good stuff in there yeah it's nice i grew up going i worked in that mall at one point in my life a lot yeah. of history there i smoked cigarettes in that mall yeah a lot of good stuff yeah. But then there's a mall here that it's it is like time traveling to the nineties. Like they even play Yeah, those are sad. Those are sad malls. But I kind of like it. You guys know which one I'm talking mm -hmm. about. You go yeah. in there and you're like, dude, this is what it was it's, like. That's actually the step one step removed from the saddest mall. Because yeah. the saddest mall has usually like a mostly shut down JC stores. Penny. And you no, know, they only have like a few stores open. Yeah. <laughs> And you're like, this is the only place you can get like a cell phone cover or something. You know what I mean? Like it's, the, <laughs> yeah. it's got a, and it's got one restaurant and you're like, yeah. oh man. And then there's one massage place called Be Relax. Be Relax. That place is open. Be Relax. Be relax. There was So Relax and then there's Be Relax in LA. I remember. Hey, bitches. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, what I was going to tell you is I feel like this is what you did to me when I was having my hair done this 
past weekend. Oh yeah, yeah. you got a little anxious with me because yeah. it was taking too long, and you're like, "Hey, bitches!" I had I had some things to do. Let's fucking I go. Said, Let's fucking go, man. Yeah, that yeah. I didn't know. I didn't know we were on a time crunch. Yeah, Sorry right. about Stop that. Stop being scared. That's a good thing to tell people when you're screaming. Stop being scared. You if you're dummy. a big guy and you're yelling at women, tell them stop being scared. <laughs> That it always works. works. It works. It's like we tell someone to calm down. That's always they effective. They love hearing that. Yeah, if they're really angry, calm yeah. down. But haven't you felt like doing this? I mean, I know you don't get your nails done, but I've wanted to do this several times. Like, what is taking so long? Let's go. It's my turn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't I don't think I've ever... I wouldn't yell at them. No, hey, bitches, do you have fucking time for my hands? But that's how I, inside of my head, sure. I feel that same way. But that's what separates you from this guy, <laughs> is that it, it's inside. Everybody's allowed to have inside thoughts. Inside thoughts. Yeah, acting out on them is real crazy. I know, but that's why I like watching him do it. It's yeah. so cool. So yeah, new dad eyes are coming. Cool. Um, hopefully they change everything. And then that's it. Like, I hope you don't get any worse. Worse, sir. Who knows? Uh, it's only for, I'm farsighted. You're fart-sighted. Fart-sighted, so I can see distance fine, but up close and screens and shit. You know, the doctor said her theory was mm -hmm. that people are, are, are experiencing this. She's like, I don't think we were designed to just stare at screens. Yeah. That's like something that happened. I thought she was going to say that you take too long to shit on the toilet. She didn't say that at all. Oh. She never mentioned it. How much time you spend on the toilet? All, all day. day. Yeah. Any? Any? Yep. All day, homie. I don't say that. No. It's not even fun to say Hey, man, come in the booth real quick. Do me a favor. <laughs> all right. So, <laughs> second, month. Huh? second month. Second <laughs> month. Month two. We didn't even really get that close yet. Really? I don't, yeah. I don't remember this. That was right up top. Mm. <laughs> I didn't know nothing about this place. Well, to be fair, I've asked a few people to do that <laughs> <laughs> over the course of my life. All right. Yeah. Um, yeah. So we're going to talk to... Don't even. Some amazing people I today. I don't even know. I know. I, I'm, can I tell you something? I don't tremble when we have celebrities in here. Yeah. Nearly as much as I am quivering inside about the double. This is really summer. what the show is about. Yeah. And we haven't had like, you know, we've, we've discovered wonderful people, had conversations with people over the years, but this is what the show is about. For me, this is the core. Yes. Of yeah. YMH. This is everything we stand for. Everything also, we hope for. Everything we dream of. this is the part of the yeah, show. Yes. Yeah, right? Yeah. <laughs> Bien flojito, flojito. Igual un relajante muscular yo creo que le va a servir. ¿Sale? What the fuck? Me is sostienen doing este. This guy? Oh, yeah. it doesn't look like it's straight right now. Fuck. Is he resetting it? Ya. Ya pasó. Ya pasó. ¿Vale? Listo. Gracias. All better. <laughs> Everything's fine now. <laughs> Fixed. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's the yeah. sound of healing. Yeah. Yeah, sound yeah, of yeah. That's what you tell a child yeah. when you're soothing them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're yeah. Fine. Okay, okay, okay. You're fine. He's yeah. like, I heard this screaming enough. Also, that didn't seem like it took a medical degree to figure that out. He's like, Oh, your legs broken this way? Let's put it this way. <laughs> All better now. <laughs> that really didn't take anything, you know? I know, dude. I was watching like a this is one of my old timey British shows yeah. and this guy broke his arm falling out of a tree and they're like, we're going to have to saw it off. And this one doctor was like, hold on, I've heard of this new procedure where you can set the bone right and then sew it up. And then they're like, no, he's going to get gangrene. No. And they saved the guy's arm. That's pretty cool. I've had a similar experience. <laughs> they're like, cut both the arms. You would have had off. to cut the arm and the leg off. In back a certain in the time, day. yeah. A certain day they would have. They've been like, this is useless. Cut yeah. And that's yeah. it. There goes your life. Now you're in a wheelchair. If they even had wheelchairs, they'd probably just throw you in the alleyway and you get eaten by rats. In yeah, London. you're useless. <laughs> you're, you're useless as a man. And, uh, and in, in that era where Done. you have to go like forge for food or just, you Done. know. Done. They're not going to be like, oh, you know, they're requiring that uh, every business has a ramp. <laughs> For you to access, like, that oh my god, can I tell you what? Like, push him out the window, he's useless from day to day annoyances to the big stuff life throws your way. It's easy to get worked up, but there's a better way, a chiller way. Turn that canceled concert into a parking lot dance party. Too cold for an ocean swim? Play volleyball and light a bonfire instead. That's choosing chill, and when you choose chill. 
reach for a Coors Light. Come on, Coors Light is America's beer. It's cool, it's refreshing, it makes the whole event. It's my personal favorite. When the mountain turns blue, it's as cold as the Rockies. Coors Light is cold lagered, cold filtered, and cold packaged for a smoother finish. When you embrace a chill mindset, it's a good time to choose chill and crack open a Coors Light. Coors Light is a mountain gold refreshment, crisp and refreshing as the Colorado Rockies. When you choose to rise above it all, choose chill, choose Coors Light. Get Coors Light delivered straight to your door with Instacart by going to CoorsLight.com slash YMH. Coors Brewing Company, Golden, Colorado. Celebrate responsibly. Tournament time is officially here, so fill out your brackets and place your bets on who you think will rise to the top with my partners at DraftKings Sportsbook. Right now, all new customers who bet $5 will get $150 in bonus bets instantly. Download the DraftKings app now and sign up using my code MOM, the crown is yours. That's right. New customers can bet just $5 on anything and receive $150 in bonus bets instantly. Stay in on the action and use your $150 in bonus bets on DraftKings same game parlays for a shot at even bigger payout. Combine multiple bets together from the same game, including total points scored, number of rebounds by your favorite player, and more. Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app now. New customers use my promo code MOM and bet just $5 on any wager and get $150 in bonus bets instantly. That's promo code MOM only at DraftKings Sportsbook. You know that Ellis is learning about the Black Plague in school? Mm -hmm. And he's like, Mom, did you know... That, oh, sorry, I'm doing the wrong the kid's voice. Did you know that um, when people died during the plague, they would put their bodies in catapults and then use the catapults, like use the dead bodies as, a, you know, stuff for the catapults mm -hmm. to throw them. Basically using dead bodies as catapult ammunition. Yeah, that's awesome. I didn't know that. Did you know that? I've heard that before. These kids yeah. are learning the coolest shit ever. Yeah, he loves that kind of stuff too. I know. Yeah. I love it. Super goth. I told them that story the other night that... They laughed so hard. It's so like, he dares me. He's like, you got to tell us a story yeah. before bed. And if we laugh, you win. <laughs> He's but like, that's kind of your life. we don't laugh, we win. And I'm like, okay. Yeah. So for, he's like, you get 10 chances. I was like, okay. 10 so chances. first story, I was like, I stumbled upon uh, a car accident. There was a car accident um, back in my hometown, 14th Street. And when I got out of the car... There was a woman laying on the street and she was really hurt. So we called 911 and I go, and the police showed up and a fire truck showed up and an ambulance showed up and they all walked up and the police said like, well, I showed up first. I think I should go first. I go, so he, he started peeing on the woman, right? <laughs> he peed all over the woman. And then the fireman said, well, Good. I was second. So then he dropped his pants and he had diarrhea and he took, <laughs> he diarrhea all over the woman. This is perfect. And then the ambulance driver was like, I'm last. And then he threw up all over the lady. Yeah. And they were laughing so fucking hard. Of course. And then they're like, and then what happened? I was like, and then they just left her there and she felt better. <laughs> and then they, he goes, uh, you win. That was a great story, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> we're great parents. Yeah, that's a cool story. We're great parents. Why don't you tell the audience what I taught our kids to do in the car? Uh, well, when we're driving by, just people walking down the street, the kids roll down the window and they bark at them. So they go, <laughs> row, 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 row. like they do that. And then when I they see it's fun to bark at people. anybody on a bike, they go, look, a dork. <laughs> <laughs> and like the other day julian he goes dad i go yeah he goes one dork and i just turn and there's just a guy riding his bike he's like <laughs> i was like one like he he's like this is one, one dork. dork yeah well i'll tell you why i do it mm -hmm. because i think it's real dangerous to ride bicycles mm -hmm. where the cars are mm -hmm. i don't think it's good i know i know it's the law whatever we share the road I don't like it, so I want to condition them very early to be averse to that. And whenever I see people smoking I, cigarettes, yeah, you tell them losers. I know because they go, "Look at these losers over here." Look at here. the losers. Yeah, yeah. So, so losers, not smoke. dorks, and they're just barking at people yeah. who are living life <laughs> and hearing stories about women injured, getting pissed on, yeah. barfed on, yeah, and diarrhea, and on. diarrhea. Yeah, on. So and far, also, so good. it also it healed them. <laughs> she was all better after that. She got up and got back in her car, 
<laughs> I don't know what our kids are going to be into when they grow up, man. Well, cool stuff. Good stuff. Slick stuff. Neat stuff. Good yeah. Stuff. It's pretty. It's pretty rad. Um, you might like this. We oh, yeah, have player. So breezy. I can do this. It's not. It's just chug. You just suck it up and you just do it. Oh no. Patron. I see puke coming in the future. No. Yeah. A whole. He's gonna drink it like it's Gatorade. No way. Wow. Nah, it's water. That ain't water. He switched it. No, it's not. They watched him take the top off. He took the top off. Give me the back. Give me the back. It's in my eye. I can't it. Thanks, Tom. Yeah, that was something, though. He's... That's a lot of... A lot of tequila. Seriously? I don't... You know I don't like this. Oh, I'll turn it off. I didn't realize... I don't know. I just... I don't know. It's, it's here. Let's change it. Let's change it. Oh, man. What What's else is there? What's wrong with you? Oh, this is better for you. Okay. <sighs> you know I hate puke stuff. Yeah. Okay, I got another one for you. Ready? No, I'm all fucking traumatized. No, and no, triggered, no, no, no. This, this is better. I, got, I didn't know that was <sighs> My in My heart's there. pounding. Okay. I don't like Here. it. This one you'll enjoy, I promise. I'm having flashbacks and okay. stuff. Ready? Childhood problems. This is something that you should be listening to. I'm just so sad. We leather the penis in milk and honey and rose oil and rose petals yeah and say beautiful things to it you can also do cock gazing so just looking and watching and watching the testes move and really appreciating how beautiful it is mm. and then saying saying things to it that just you channel that you just see and you feel about the penis and while you're doing that, you can pour this yummy milk libation over it. I feel like our double soul shaman would be into this. A hundred percent. I think so too. But I also feel like this is a lesson for you. <laughs> you Cop gazing. Well, why don't you get a, a milk and a honey concoction together and lather it and say beautiful things and gaze? I will. I do love penis gazing. I always gaze at yeah, your I'm talking about. I'm talking about mine. Like, yeah, about, yours. I mean, how about spending a little more? I will. I, you time? know, I love worshiping uh, the penis. I don't. I mean, can this I tell is you what? The other night, I was. You don't. Express I can ever. take it there. I didn't know you were interested. You know, I wanted to watch Saltburn again last night before you got home. Oh Jesus! And I was like, he's gonna think I'm only watching it for cock appreciation. The truth is, I like the rest of the story, but I didn't want the judgment. So you avoided it? I did. That's silly of you. It is you silly. You do a lot of silly things. I do. I overthink it. I'm hypervigilant. Yeah. I got emotional problems. Yeah, it's for real. You can watch the movie whenever you watch it 15 times. Who cares? Can I tell you something really what? stupid that I realized? What? It's important to me, though, because it's a significant life change. Okay. Harlan Williams was on Where My Mom's At, and we were talking about how uh, my love of vampires and me wanting to become one my mm -hmm. whole life, right, mm -hmm. basically? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then Harlan pointed out the obvious, which I'd never considered... Babe, look at me. If I become a vampire, I have to do everything at night. And that fucking sucks. This is a big revelation to you? Yeah, but I didn't think about it that way. Like, I couldn't go to my kids' stuff. I couldn't go to parent-teacher conferences. Mm -hmm. I can't go to the beach. You'd have to go at night. That ruins everything. But I never put that, I never thought about it like that. Isn't that stupid? Well, is this actually affecting your thoughts? And now I'm like, I don't want to be a vampire anymore. Wow. My lifelong dream is dashed. Damn, that is pretty crazy. <laughs> God, what the fuck is wrong with I you? I know, because, but it matters to me. This is important to me. That your desire yeah. is now, has hit a, a it's real It's done, and it obstacle. is. it's a dream for me that will no longer be. Okay, well, here's what I say to that. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Isn't it the best laugh? Yeah. That's great. That's how yeah. I feel about your vampire revelation. Yeah. Okay. Well, so what are you going to do now? You have to come up with a new dream. That's the problem. That was always in the back of my head, literally as like a, ch a childhood fantasy. Yeah. And now that's gone. It's like you wanting to be a professional football player, whatever it is guys dream of. Sure. I don't know. Immortality. That was. Yeah. But then you get to an age where you're like, I guess I'm not going to be a. So are you saying that that just happened to you now? I'm, uh, now I'm not going to be a vampire? Yeah. You just put that together? I was always holding out on hope that my best friend Shauna would become one and then make me one. That was always the deal we had. And now I don't want to be like, a vampire And you're like, oh, I can't anymore. go to the beach anymore. Yeah. 
I can't go to parent teacher conferences. Yeah. I can't do like normal things that I enjoy. And yeah. then, and then you think about it, all your friends are going to die. Everyone's going to die. Yeah. And I don't want to make new friends every 100 years. That sucks. Yeah. I don't want to make new friends now. It's really tough. It's tough. I, I don't want to make new friends either. You can only be friends with the people that you formed your brain with, I think. It's kind of, yeah. You can just be like, uh, I don't know, kind of friendly to people, but you don't want to have like new, whole new friendships take place. I know, that's I, so I weird, isn't it? Yeah, it sucks. It's just like you, because it's too much to get to know how their brain works and like their, their ins and outs. It's like, I, I've done this with people already that I've known and loved for 20 yeah. some years, 30 years. Yeah. That's it. That's it. That's all I have room for too. Yeah. All right. Let's okay, take a I break you, and let's move on. You shouldn't have to worry when you buy tickets to your next big event. Game time is the fast and easy way to buy tickets for all the sports, music, comedy, and theater events near you. With killer last minute deals, all in prices, views from your seat, and their best price guarantee, Game Time takes the guesswork out of buying tickets. I just bought a last minute uh, ticket to a, a goth show in San Antonio and I used Game Time. It was so easy. Game Time is the only ticketing app that gives you complete peace of mind with your purchase. See the view from your seat before you buy so you know exactly what to expect when you arrive. All in prices show your total up front so you know you're getting a great deal before you check out. Buy tickets in seconds with two taps. Game Time has deals on tickets right up to the start of the event and even an hour after it starts. Take the guesswork out of buying tickets with Game Time. Download the Game Time app, create an account, and use code YMH for $20 off your first purchase. Terms apply. Again, create an account and redeem code YMH for $20 off. Download Game Time today. Last minute tickets, lowest price guaranteed. This episode of Your Mom's House is brought to you by Sattva. We did it. We just did it. We just got another new sattva mattress and it's just like the first time it's just like the first time you can't believe it you feel it in your body your blood flows a little easier you sleep a little deeper because you got a new mattress that you deserve you're going to spend a good portion of your life sleeping you should be laying on a bed when you do it and you should be laying on a high quality mattress you should get the one from sattva they provide a lot of different mattresses charo hit me up uh, she would finally, she just was like, you owe me this. And I did it. I sent her one as well. You can get one if you go to sattva, S-A-A-T-V-A dot com slash the shit. And you get $200 off any mattress of your choice. Just pick what you like. Get any kind you like. Get a memory foam one. Get a vibrating one. Get one that's soft. Get one that's firm. Go to sattva dot com slash the shit and get $200 off any mattress of your choice. All right, we're back, and this is a real special treat for everybody who works here, who watches, and for, who listens. You know him as the double soul shaman. Yes. It is William Blunderfield, oh. everybody. Let him hear it. Give oh a big round of applause. Gosh. Good to see you guys. It's so nice to be in Texas. Can it's uh, you it's looked, great. You it's, look even better in person. Yeah. Really? Oh, you're I mean, so sweet. you look so handsome in your videos. One of the things we, we comment on a lot is just like how, how great your skin looks. Thank you. And I feel teeth. the same about you guys. Oh, and please. You, you especially, like, you've always looked good, but you, you have lost some weight. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Have you been working out a bit? Yeah, working out, nice. eating different. Yeah, yeah. And then I heard testosterone injections. Right Here, in the push the microphone. Yeah. Yeah. Put, oh, you can it, move it. Move yeah, it towards so, you. Yeah. yeah, and how is how are the testosterone injections feeling? Great. Good? No yeah. side effects? I mean, nothing negative. Okay, because yeah. there's something called shilajit, and it's basically the sweat of a mountain mm. um, in the Himalayas. And it's Jesus. natural way to increase your testosterone. Oh, I'd love to be. Yeah. Introduced. Does he to have this. to go to the Himalayas you, to get that? You don't. They've uh, actually pull, pull hot it, water extracted pull it. Pull it just a little down. Yeah, we want to down? see your beautiful face. Yeah, oh, there we go. There you go. Okay, oh. thank you. See the face. Yeah. Yeah. Well, okay. There's so much I want to so get into much this. To yes, get we'll do. Into. But we have so much to ask. Yeah. And I think go the best place to start is that we know you're from BC. You're from yes. Vancouver. I am from Vancouver, Canada. And when you yeah. see somebody like you, we start, you know, watching the videos, gathering the information, you seem like you, you, you know a lot. You have a lot of knowledge. But I have makes, a lot to share. You have a lot to share. Yes. But before we get to all the stuff that you can share, I think we're all fascinated, like, at an origin story. Yeah. Like, did you have a regular suburban upbringing oh my gosh it was so conservative it was it was so conservative okay. although we did have nudes on our walls okay my oh. parents had a few nudes okay and I of thought, themselves or of others no like these artistic nudes Paintings of men and women and, okay. and the breasts and i thought oh i like that okay 
And so I did a degree and my mom first, she was like, we're not, you know, helping to pay for university for you to study sexuality. Uh But then things changed. Right. You know, and I explained, you know, it's not smut. It's to learn. And I feel like sexuality is the biggest wound in all of humanity. Really? Mm. I think it's like one of the most upstream ways that the matrix cuts us off from our power. Mm. Like if you can make your, if they can make us feel kind of dirty in our roots, Mm -hmm. like that we don't really have very nice vaginas and penises. Yeah. Then if they can cut us off from that place that makes us wild and free, then they don't have to put a literal cage around us. Why do you Mm. think we, people harbor so much shame about sexuality and sex in general and their bodies? I think that, see, I, that's interesting. When you say that, I feel like you've done a lot of work on yourself. Like well, it's, it's not as much of an issue for, for maybe, you, which is good. Uh, probably better now at this age, right? I think everybody yes. goes through an age where you feel either shame or, you know, you're, you're embarrassed or you're, you're just insecure about yourself. But I yeah. think that's a natural thing that happens going through puberty, yeah. maybe your teens and your 20s, right? And then, yeah. you know, we always say like the at our age now, like we were, we're so much more confident just because yes. you're more confident how old in are who you, you are. I'm 44. You're 44? Yeah. And how 47. old are you? 47. Nice. You guys look great. Oh, and sorry, nice. what was your question? Well, I was saying that what is, what was your thought on why people you maybe feel so much shame uh, and about sexuality and their bodies, their, their genitals? Like what, what do you think? Why do you think that is? I think that we're brought up in a way, like without getting too conspiratorial right away, uh-huh. um, in a trauma-based mind control system. Mm-hmm. And again, I think the reason why people feel so much shame is because it's deliberately done. I don't know if it's necessarily a conspiracy. It's more just predatory capitalism. Mm. Again, if you can make people not really feel that good about themselves, then they're going to want to consume, consume, consume. Oh, buy, buy things. Buy things to compensate. Oh, yeah. interesting. And we are, I mean, at least in, in uh, the United States, very much we're from the Puritans. We've inherited a puritanical yes. culture, right? I mean, capitalism, the work ethic. Are you of Scottish descent, either no, of you? No, I'm Hungarian. Okay. He's yeah. Peruvian. I'm half Peruvian and Spanish. Because yeah. there are the witch burnings right. yeah. throughout Europe. Anybody who is in touch with their sexuality right. or, or natural healing was literally burned at the stake. Yes. So who knows? Maybe some of us were in past lives burned at the stake. So we still have that kind of like ancestral trauma that we're processing. Interesting. Well, you right? certainly are in touch with it. You probably yeah. do have it. Well, I think so. And how old are you? I have a persecution complex a little bit mm. that I'm working through. And that's why I like breathwork. I'll share with some, some breathwork techniques that work for me later. I'm 38. You're 38. Okay. Yeah. You look, you look fantastic. Look amazing. Um, Thank you. So Skin's we so get, clear. Thank we you get, so much. you get to your degree Thank you. And then do you start, because now we know you as like, you know, this practitioner, the mm. naked yogi, the workshops. Also, do, you, do you get into that really early, like in your 20s? Or is that something I, you kind of evolve into? I was on Canadian Idol mm. when I was 16. And oh, I as got, a musician. Yeah, yeah that's right. I made it pretty far. But then the Simon Cowell type judge, I think his name was Zach Werner up in Canada. They basically tried to copy American Idol and it was not good Mm -hmm. because they were not really being themselves, but I wasn't really being myself and I wasn't really in my body. Mm. So I made it pretty far, but then he was like, you're too theatrical, get out. Mm. And I did the walk of shame. And then I won a scholarship to a theatrical school in New York. So I moved when I was 17. Oh, wow. To New York. Yes. And the acting teacher was very, the one who I liked the most, but who I also had the most friction with, he would make us do yoga before we went on stage, he said it would make us better actors and singers, you know, breath support and being present. Mm-hmm. And so I started to fall in love more with the yoga than the cattle call additions. So I moved back to Vancouver and I got my yoga certification. But then it's like you can do all the downward dogs you want, mm-hmm. but if you don't really love yourself and if you're kind of cut off from your sexuality, it doesn't do much. So was that, was that a process for you? L- yeah. learning to love yourself and oh everything. Yeah. god yeah, yeah i i got addicted to coke mm. coke mm. and alcohol were my challenges mm. and it was basically in 2014 one of my students i was kind of going through a low period and he was like try this and i remember it was a little bit of powder on a key back backstay uh behind a nightclub and i did it i was like oh my god i feel amazing yeah for 20 minutes and then panic attacks sure but it just hooks you yeah. Especially if you've got a, an addictive personality like that I do. That dopamine is mm. it's nice. Yes. Yeah. Have you tried Coke? I've never been a Coke guy. No. I, I, I OD'd though when I was 19. <laughs> I think I, because when I Googled you to be on the show, I saw the, your yeah. story about that. That was intense. Yeah, yeah. That was, I mean, it felt really good. You could really have really right died, before. yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything right up until dying was awesome. It was really good, yeah. 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 <laughs> 
Wait, so, so but yeah. you're so rooted. It's interesting. Yes, because some. Okay, so you are a gay man too. So would, well, would see, you, that's the thing. Oh, okay. The whole kind of ethos of the work that mm-hmm. I do is it's dearmoring. Mm-hmm. It's dropping gay and straight and even bisexual, all those terms, those labels, I call them labels from the matrix. Sure. Mm-hmm. Uh, and stepping into more glandular potency together or masculinity. Um, you know, there's so many endocrine disruptors. You can't be too paranoid. I'm always like, where is this from? You know, mm-hmm. because there's this movie that you can watch called The Disappearing Male. It's free to watch on YouTube. It's a documentary. Mm -hmm. There's literally thousands of chemicals in the pharmaceuticals and in the food and in the water. They're finding birth control pill runoff in the municipal water supply, especially Mm. in Florida. That's not surprising. It's shrinking the testes. Really? Mm. Penis size is the smallest it's ever been. Mm -hmm. And our ball sacks on average, you and me, Mm -hmm. are only producing about 40% of the testosterone our grandpa's ball sacks were producing in the 40s. And do you think it's correlated to the estrogen? I've heard about this, like there's estrogenizing of males. Yeah, there's another book called Estrogeneration I can really recommend, where this PhD guy is going in and doing all this research. And there's just been no long-term studies done on like, what is the effect on men's ball sacks of literally like 4,000, 5,000, 6,000 chemicals? They've done a study on the anal genital distance which is the space where your ball sack forms and where your anus is. Mm -hmm. And it's a marker for masculinization in the womb. They found that women who are gestating a male fetus, for whatever reason it affects male fetuses more, this estrogenation that's happening, have very, very small anal genital distance, which means that the atrazine, the pesticides their mother was consuming Mm. while gestating a male baby is causing a demasculinization effect. Mm-hmm. What does that do yeah. to our psyches? You know, it's turning the frogs transgender, for example, uh, atrazine. Mm. Mm. And I know people are gonna think, oh, that's just an Alex Jones conspiracy theory, but I dug into it when he said that. Mm-hmm. And there is a scientist named Tyrone Hayes who was hired by Syngenta, who created atrazine, which is a very feminizing, plasticky kind of uh, pesticide they spray on like 60 or 70% of all American corn crops. The frogs were turning gay and trans right next, like in the ponds next to where they were spraying. So Tyrone Hayes put a vat with atrazine, put all these male frogs and then a control group. And the ones who were just exposed to a little bit of atrazine started to aggressively fuck each other in the rectums Hmm. and some turned uh, gen their gender went from male to female. Whoa. Now trans people have existed since time immemorial, Mm -hmm. but if it's being chemicalized, if it's a chemical transness, Mm -hmm. I don't think it's very authentic. That's all. Why? I'm sure that makes sense. And what about the Lululemon pants? You mentioned that that will leach uh, masculine energy. I gotta say, I'll tell you this too. Yeah, they make incredible boxers. They really do. I just got exposed. And I do like their yoga pants. They're very soft and they are soft. It's the problem with them, guys, is when when you go to like a hot yoga class. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like I was talking to the stewardess, and she was uh, last night um, when I flew in and. She's like, oh yeah, I did like this really crazy hot class because I was talking about how I like to do cold plunging. She's like, but in Canada, it's so cold. Yeah. <laughs> and she's like, well, I guess I'm kind of crazy too. Like I went to, to a Bikram, you know, yeah. 90 degree hot yoga class in Vegas, you know, in a desert. Jesus. Uh, so basically, um, sorry, what was the question? The Lululemons? <laughs> oh yeah. Why, why are they leaching your masculine energy? So they... When you heat up, that's my point here. When you heat up the Luan um, fabric, Mm -hmm. it starts to leach microplastics in through your skin into your bloodstream, sure, Mm. which can lower the amount of testosterone produced and it Mm. can cause things like cancer in women. So I just don't think it's like, I'm wearing right now merino wool Mm -hmm. and you'd think that it would be too hot but it's fine. It feels it's good. It's kind of got a wicking effect. Yeah. How do you, I want to know this. Cause like, you know, we see you in clips usually. And like, I remember there was a yeah. video where you said like, um, you know, all these men's workshops, they're like the warrior, this and all that. Yeah. And, and you're like, they don't, they don't do what the Spartans or the samurai did like, like nipple sucking and ball mm-hmm. sniffing taints and stuff. Yeah. Like, how, how do you learn? How did you learn that that's what these ancient, you know, warriors did? Well, 
so I did the degree in psychology mm-hmm. and critical studies and sexuality and, and nutrition. And we learned, like we dug into the anthropological evidence. Yeah. And it was just really interesting. Like my Celtic ancestors, they were even quote unquote gayer than the Romans. Really? <laughs> when the Romans the tied to it. Yeah. Like, especially up, like there's this clan called the Picts, mm-hmm. which means like painted ones. And they would, li- the men and the women were apparently very beautiful mm-hmm. and they would strip down and go into battle naked against the Romans. Wow. That can't be practical. That's, uh, right? It seems like. But the Hawaiians did that. Like it's very documented throughout history, not just my Celtic ancestors. And it's cold in those Celtic yeah. regions. Yeah, it's cold. And also most like men's mm. natural, I feel like. <laughs> Uh, it doesn't uh, make sense. It's counterintuitive. I know, right? But naturally, but then you just is, feel free. Is yeah. to protect, though. Yeah. You'll, you kind of like in dangerous situations, like most men's bodies work where your genitals retreat, right? It's mm-hmm. like a protective mechanism. So yeah. it almost seems like counterintuitive. It does. That in battle, you would be like, let it all hang out. That's the thing. But it's almost like um, feeling protected by God. Yeah. Okay. No mm-hmm. barriers between you and God. Okay. And that's that's why I do the men's work naked. No barriers between you and nature and your bros. What does ball cupping do? So that's, okay. So the word testes Mm -hmm. comes from the root word testify. And in certain cultures, they wouldn't testify like in ancient Greece. They wouldn't testify on a Bible in court. They'd testify in each other's ball sacks. That's That's how you'd hold their balls and cup the nuts. Uh And even Aubrey Marcus, who I know is in Austin, he's been talking with Dr. Zach Bush about how his friend went to live with the Sambia tribe in New Guinea. And they stripped him down on the first day and they cupped his nuts and they said, I see you, brother. Oh, wow. And it wasn't like, oh, am I gay? Am I straight? I call it gay panic, this fear that you might just be a little bit gay. Well, right. guess what? Yeah. Everybody is just a little bit gay. This sure. is Aubrey Marcus saying, I'm yeah. quoting him. I don't care if you're 18% gay or 5% gay, but nobody's under, you know, 3% gay. Yep. Everyone's he said something like that. Up there. Mm. So everyone's got a little something. And what yeah. about what yeah. about the samurais <laughs> sucking each other's nipples? How did yes. you hear about this one? Yeah, that's so wild. That yeah. is actually very, very... Um, authentically documented in the ancient Irish kings. Mm -hmm. The ancient Irish kings, when they became king in their 20s, would ritualistically have their nipples sucked by the other males of the clan to kind of symbolize their submission to the king. Now, if he fucked up, because in those times they believed that famine was caused by the king, Mm. then they would cut off his nipples (gasps) and kill him and throw him in a bog. So they're finding all these what we call bog bodies of these kings and they know they were kings because they've got all of this jewelry, but they're naked and their nipples are chopped off. Wow. Dang. Like tons of these bog bodies all over Ireland. And this stuff is well, is documented. It just feels like. It feels so weird, right? It feels weird. It also feels like that information is only to some, like is gathered by someone like you who does like a deep study. But I feel like most people don't actually know anything it's not about common that. Knowledge. It's not common knowledge. We don't though. learn it in social studies. Yeah. Which we should. Guys call it if America? we had learned that in social studies, I would have gotten way better grades. It would be so much more interesting. It would be. It really and would you know, be. you were talking about how your pussy got blown yes, out. Yes, let's talk about my pussy. And I I just oh, yeah. love talk because I, I focus on men's work, yeah. but yeah. a lot of people online are like, can you talk more about the women's lineages? I mean, I like that. Right? So sure. we can touch on that. This is what we call the jade egg. Okay. okay. And when you said your pussy had blown out from the big heads of your sons. Look at this noodle right here. Right. It's genetic. Yeah. 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 So what you can do, and I'm glad, by the way, that you didn't have a C-section because that means your son's got a nice gulp of your pussy bacteria. Yeah. Which means that their balls will develop better. I think their balls have developed nicely. Nice. And I I had a lot of red meat when I was pregnant Good. with both of them. And oh. I encourage that masculine behavior. Yes. I encourage them to do things. What does the jade egg do? Well, first I want to quickly say the pussy bacteria, there's a specific strain they found called L. Ruteri. Mm-hmm. L dot R-E-U-T-E-R-I. And when uh, the baby gets a gulp of that pussy bacteria on his way out, Mm -hmm. it's been shown in preclinical trials to help to grow the balls. Interesting. Mm. Yeah. So if you want bigger balls, eat some pussy. Eat some. Wow. I went to the drugstore and I was looking for it. Can I have some L. ruteri? Because I want to grow my balls. I don't have any pussy to eat right now. Yeah. Yeah. And the lady's like, we normally give that to kids for colic. Why do you want that? And I was like, do you really want to know? And she had like an intern, like, you know, an 18 year old intern. I was like, oh, she's like, please tell me. I was like, because I want to grow my balls. She's like, oh my goodness. Okay, just buy it. Just Yeah, wow. But they found babies with colic 
can really benefit from that l ruterine which makes sense because a lot of babies who've been c-section didn't get the gulp oh, so yeah. they're they need that pussy our babies didn't have colic they were not colicky children Good. so they got a big gulp of a my big juices. gulp of your juices yeah. Yeah. so this is basically you can have it in the jade, but I thought black obsidian would be better I for like you. That one, yeah. It's good for shadow work. It's good for Ooh, self love. If there's on. any imprints in your vagina, this can help to just pull them right out. Cool. You just put it in your vagina, and then that you way s- with the pointy end up. Yeah, and I attach some dental floss. You basically just say soul. Mm-hmm. I want you to remove any imprints and speak in the second person because we're that's how we're trained as kids. Like you've been bad. Christine has been right. bad. You hear it that way. Soul. Yeah. Soul. I want you to remove any mm-hmm. imprints from your pussy and oh, anus pussy. out your mouth through sound and breath uh, for the next 10 minutes. Okay. And who knows what will happen. You might 10 cry. minutes. I have to hold that in there. Yes. I have to squeeze Try it for it. 10 minutes. Yeah. Doing okay. The, like doing squeezing exercises. Yeah. yeah. I probably won't have to because I can hold a tampon in there without squeezing. Okay, is it quite loose? No, I mean, I could probably hold that okay. in. Okay, yeah, Here. I'll try it. You want me to try right Put now? Put it in now. <laughs> <laughs> wow. This is really cool. This is amazing. Thank the, you. The I will strain will keep it from getting lost. Wash this before. Yeah, I wash yeah. it. Sterilize well, it. Oh, thanks for that. It's yeah, very, thank very you. welcome. I know what I'm doing tonight. I have more mm-hmm. questions. One more thing so for you. Many. This is for you. Oh shit. Oh. So this is what we call humic and fulvic acid biomedic. I work for a superfoods company. Shameless promotion. Use my code Urban Yogi. Um, but it's been actually, they studied American males mm-hmm. age 20 to 65 for eight weeks, six or eight weeks. They had them, they wanted really fat American men who were drinking <laughs> awesome. lots Thank of you. beer. Yeah. And they said, just keep doing that, mm-hmm. but take two of these a day. Mm-hmm. And then they monitored the level of glyphosate, which is a harmful pesticide in your gut. And it removed 74 or 75% of the glyphosate in their guts on average within six to eight weeks. Is this for my guts? Yes. And I believe that that will help men be able to control their dicks and balls better to Mm. feel like when you focus on your nuts, when you focus on your pussy, Mm -hmm. what do you feel in this now moment? (sighs) I mean, I feel them, you know, I feel. Yeah, I love them. Do you feel like a tingle? A little tingle, like yeah. a weightiness of mm-hmm. your of your sack. Yeah, a little bit. And your pussy lips feel yeah present, vibrant, alive, yeah. full of mm-hmm. life. Yeah, I feel like you guys are pretty advanced sexually, yeah. so that's good. So a lot of men cannot feel their balls. Mm. Really? So I say superfoods, semen retention, and sex kung fu to help reappropriate your ability to literally mix the blood and the chi mm. in your balls. They're your mm. engines of vitality, your oh. ovaries, mm-hmm. right? So your ovaries would be kind of mm-hmm. there. Mm-hmm. And we all, we all start as female That's blueprint right. in the womb. The ovaries drop down through the influence of testosterone. Yeah. The, you know, on your scrotum and your penis, there's that line. Yes. That's where the labial folds fuse together to turn into the scrotum. Mm-hmm. And the influence of testosterone cause your clitoris to turn into your penis. Mm-hmm. So I believe that if we can detoxify from these feminizing pesticides, it can Mm. help us to become even more the way God wants us to be. Wow, Mm. thank you so much for this. You're very welcome. It's very nice of you. You take two a day. Two a day. Um, Okay, a couple of things I want to ask about. Yeah. So I feel like in the last decade, we heard a lot about it, but with the advent of, of social media, access to seeing things, you see so many more people talk about, you actually get to see them talk about and, and partake in urine therapy stuff. <laughs> yes. And so yeah. like, you know, some people rub it on wounds or they take, they bathe mm. in it or they gargle. Shoot or they it drink. up their ass, and, and, yeah. ferment it in their Cancer. closet. I know a guy who All, shoots it right up. But Treatment. so yeah. we've seen videos of you doing the, you know, uh, urinating, drinking yeah. it. Are there real health? Because one of the things we talked about before and, and even in person is how great your skin looks. Thank is you. that a reason why you think? Well, I love shea butter. That's okay. like the one beauty product I use is I just Your love. beard too. Look, Jesus Thank Christ. Yeah, so. I started trimming it myself because it was like 50 bucks every but few weeks. it's so rich. Thank like you. It looks, yeah, yeah, I mean. Thank you. So I appreciate that. Is, is, the, is urine a, a part of why this is, like well, why your skin is well? My well? mentor, Troy Casey, he's about, what is he now, 58 or almost, he's approaching 60. Mm-hmm. And so he, and he left uh, LA as well. I think he's in Arizona now. So he is just all about urine therapy. He calls mm. it Shivambu. Shivambu. And when I traveled to India- Your orin, is that what you call your it? Your orin, you could call it. Yeah. yeah. Mm. When I traveled to India a few years ago to study yoga, I was surprised that urine therapy was a part of yoga. And I was reading the Hatha Yoga Pradipika, mm. which is like the 5,000-year-old conglomeration of yogic teachings. Half of it 
was not even yoga poses. It was like, drink your pee. Mm. When you poo, stick your finger up your anus <sighs> and then swirl it nine times to help the poo come out. Oh, like for life. It was all of these things that Penny. I thought, well, That's this isn't excessive. Lululemon yoga. Penny. It's a little yeah. excessive. Yeah. Yeah. So for me, I think it's part of it. But I can recommend people go on to YouTube, type in TEDx Talks urine therapy. Oh. There's this dude who's gone really deep into the science. There's certain things like uh, urea in urine, which is actually in certain beauty products. Mm -hmm. So they've isolated it and synthesized because you cannot patent a natural substance. Okay. Right? Yeah. So the only way to make money off of it and make it legitimate in the matrix is to synthesize it. I think 45% of all mainstream pharmaceuticals get their impetus for rainforest plants. Mm. But you can't patent the plant. You got to synthesize it to make Correct. money off of it. Correct. So they're never going to promote things like natural health or urine therapy. Now, it's I'm not a doctor, right? My dad's a doctor. He would never advocate urine therapy. But for me, the reason why I do it is just a little bit of urine in the morning. Mm -hmm. Not every day, but just when I feel called to do it. And you can just use a homeopathic dose. Just piss on your finger and just do that. Mm -hmm. right? if, it's, if it freaks and you that, out, just try that. Yeah. Now I do like half a cup mm -hmm. and I just drink it. And it's like biofeedback. Mm. It's like, ooh, I might have had a bit too much ice cream last night. Uh -huh. You know? And you yeah. taste that in the urine? Yeah. You can taste the sweetness. You can or taste something? kind of like a slightly, I kind of just a little bit gluttonous last night. I'm willing to try that. I think you should. It helps you stay on the straight and narrow, right? Now, what I, about the um, jizz? Because you also yes, did a, there's a, a little jizz. bit of pre cum can sometimes be. But in you it. did a straight jizz to, from the source. Oh, yes. And I mixed it with tart cherry juice. Okay, we need to start from <laughs> the on. very beginning. How did we start this practice? Yeah, what and what How is, do is you there? This? Is, is that a self just a self acceptance thing, or is there actually the piss drinking or no, the no, cum? The, the cum, 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 yeah. The cum eating. Okay, so when was the first time I did that? Okay, so I mm. remember I was like thir twelve or thirteen, and it was the first ejaculation I ever had. Mm -hmm. Do you remember your first ejaculation? Oof, um, man, the first one. I was I was masturbating really young. Like how young? Probably six. Okay. I um, used to masturbate with my male and female friends when I was like three. So I get it. Three. Oh yeah. Wow. We um, just get naked. I was always. I called the clitoris the pick pick. Oh wow. I don't know why, but I called the pick pick. I was like, can I see your pick pick? <laughs> uh, no. Anyway. We, yeah. I, I was alone. But then I, I don't think I actually produced ejaculate until probably like 10 or 11, something like yes, that. Yes. You know? That's, that's normal. Okay. So I, I too was in that same kind of boat. And I remember I was rubbing my lingam, mm -hmm. which means pillar of light. Mm hmm I love that. You know, in our culture, it's called the junk. No, no, no. Words are spells. Let's call it our mm. sex palace. Mm. Yeah. I was rubbing my sperm palace against my sheets when I was like 12 or 13. And all of a sudden, rub. Oh, that feels good. Rub, rub, rub. Ooh, yeah. Ooh. Oh, and but then I thought, oh, shit, I just pissed the bed. Mm. Right. But then I smelt it mm -hmm. and I thought, that's not piss. That's not piss. And it almost... It was this weird kind of mushroomy smell. And I thought, interesting, the penis looks like a mushroom. Yeah. And most of the straight men into my work, most men would identify as straight who do my work, have done mushroom journeys. Mm -hmm. So there's something about the mushroom unlocking the wisdom of the bro bonding and the mm -hmm. semen eating and all of these technologies mm -hmm. that basically boost up my, I'll speak for myself, my self-approval mm. and self-acceptance. <laughs> And it, it makes me cry because my cousin, Jesse Blunderfield, died of a coke overdose because mm. they're mixing fentanyl with the cocaine in Canada, probably here too. Yeah. And I remember I was um, working on an album. I was doing Wild Horses cover by the Rolling Stones. And it turns out a week before he died, he's like, oh, my cousin is, is doing a Rolling Stones cover. This is my favorite song. And then when I was going to get the rights at the... Um, at the freaking uh, post office mm -hmm. turns out his best friend since childhood was right behind me and he's like are you will blunderfield because he could see uh, will blunderfield rolling stones wild horses mm -hmm. and so the reason why i'm so passionate about what i do is like so many people have died over the last several years from the opioid crisis yeah we could just be you know drinking our piss doing breath work slapping our nuts and eating superfoods and we could break free. I know, like I know, like I know so many men could break free of these low vibrational addictions because mm -hmm. let's face it, if you're an addict and yeah. I think you might have some addictive tendencies like me, mm -hmm. we're always gonna be addicts. Yeah. So for us, it's about getting addicted to the right things. Mm -hmm. That's a good point. Substitute Coke for Kundalini yoga. Mm -hmm. Russell Brand calls it the cocaine of yoga. I agree. 
I did some Kundalini yoga this morning what's by the, the water. What's Kundalini yoga? Kundalini yoga. So basically it's like a lot of chanting and rapid breath work. We have something called ego modifier because you need ego in this life to survive. Yeah. You, uh, when the ego is balanced, mm -hmm. it's like the glue that keeps your soul in your body. So we have like the Kundalini pose that goes like this. You're pumping your navel in and out. And then you do that for like three minutes. Inhale. Suspend your breath, squeeze your anus, sex organ, navel point. Roll your eyes up and feel a connection from your nuts to crown. And I can just hear the traditional Kundalini yogis just being like, oh my God, he's bastardizing it. Well, you know what? I'm speaking my truth. Yeah. And Yogi Bhajan said, just be you. Exhale, ha, they kicked me out of their community for teaching naked. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> but then in 2020, it turns out Yogi Bhajan had basically doing sexual misconduct with women in the community. He's, he's long gone now. But they actually reached out to me at that point and they said, we're sorry, like, you know, could we talk? And they ended up giving me my license back. Oh, wow. Oh, that's good. Because I explained to them, I'm, it's not smut. It's like, do you really think that people were wearing Lululemon and white robes doing yoga 5,000 years ago? Right. No, they were naked. They were naked, they were naked. for sure. Yeah. And it's yeah. not just India. Like our ancestors in, in Europe were doing forms of naked exercise as well. Oh, for sure. Um, yeah. I want to ask you about- I think so it should be done. Naked. You can eat cum so good. From, the, yes. from the source, but like, yes. do you ever do like a cum quiche? Like, can you make other I made meals? a cum, what's it called? Cum creme brulee? Cum creme caramel. Oh. Really? So I wanted to see if I could- put my cum into a recipe in, in a really yummy way. And so I made myself a creme caramel and it was, it just tingles my balls thinking but, but about it. Really, you, really, really good. Don't you worry that cooking it will cook out the goodness and the protein? You put it in at the end. Oh, Yeah, you don't want to cook it too long, low temperatures. Right. Other, you're right. You, you can don't bastardize the, cook out the, the good stuff. juju. Yeah. yeah. One of the guys, I, I was fast because I obviously you've done a lot of work. You've worked with a lot of people. Mm -hmm. One of our favorites who we have we've never we actually talked to about flying out here but it was a whole thing mm -hmm. hasn't able to work out is that you have done work with Montauk Chia he's right? amazing uh, the, he's like now 90 you get the penis little. out yeah. yeah you pull the skin a lot of people they never circumstances yeah so they have the skin so you pull the skin and you get the oil in the hand and you rub hand go like this you rub 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 especially on the gland penis rub mm, them it's the mushroom 50 mm. times yeah. rest Okay. Because you make them strong and not sensitive. Exactly. Do you do this practice? Did you do yes. this? Now, I don't do it 50 times every direction every day. I'll do it 11 times if I'm pressed for time. But I do try to squeeze and release my anus at least 300 times a day. Oh. Because if you have a loose anus, he says that you yes. leak out the best of the best energy of your organs right through your anus. So if you're doing anal sex, you should always squeeze and release your anus after just to reappropriate its athleticism. My teacher says, uh, no asshole, no holy hole. Mm. Because when you can, all you really need to get high, you don't need coke, you don't need drugs, you don't need alcohol. You just need a rectum and a third eye. You do your breath of fire, for example. Feel your anus, feel your third eye, inhale. Squeeze that beautiful anal ring and feel it connected with your nuts, your anus, and your third eye, which is basically your pineal gland in the center of the brain at the apex of the ear, slightly to the back. Amazing. No asshole, no holy hole. Mm. If you take away one thing from today's interview, everybody, no asshole, no holy hole. Thank you, Montauk Chia. And, mm. my, and also, you, you say you might stroke your hog, like what, oh, 11 yeah. times? <laughs> every and that just, that just like helps you yes. become less sensitive or, you know, control your, your, your... It make it longer. Make it longer. And if you're intact, mm -hmm. are you intact or circumcised? Most Americans are circumcised. Circumcised, yeah. 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 So if you're intact, a lot of more Canadians for whatever reason are intact, to pull back the foreskin and then kind of do that milking, not only will it make your penis longer, thicker and more vascular, mm -hmm. it will kind of help you, because it's very sensitive when it's intact, it will, it will help you be able to manage that sensitivity where you're not like just quickly prematurely ejaculating with a woman or another man. Okay. Mm -hmm. Gives you more control. And how do you feel about uh, uh, filler injections in the penis? I, yeah, I watched a bit of that interview with that that yeah. dude you had. I don't think it's really necessary. Okay. Mm. I feel like- We were going to do like a, a company trip to get injections, like the whole crew. <laughs> Just come up to Canada. We'll get naked in nature and we'll stroke our cocks together. It's cheaper. That's true. It's easier. She's Canadian. You I can know. come up, dual citizen. I'd yeah. love to. Yeah. yeah. And I wish I had a dick you to could, stroke. I mean, yeah. what, what you can could I do? You could hang 
something from your pussy uh, egg okay. while we do it. Come into a horse dance, hang a chandelier. I've seen women hang weights. Yeah. Hang a surfboard between your legs. While That'd we stroke cool. our dicks? Yeah, while we stroke the cocks. And I've done that. I've taught co-ed workshops and it's been beautiful. And I only ever teach the co-ed workshop with a female Tantra teacher. So it's you know, yeah. balanced. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. so cool. Yeah, it'd be fun. Wow, that would be cool. Yeah. You can practice over the next few months. And then if you if feel the, called, come up to Canada. We'll go to Lynn Valley. If and, all the guys want to come, do something like that. Yeah, do a group morale boosting trip. Yeah. Oh, By sure. the way, I love yeah. your pearls. I was admiring your, I thought, I want some of those. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. That's the. You're bringing it back. That was the girl up front. It was a really? receptionist. Yeah, she just put them on. Oh, it looks yeah. so good on you. On. Yeah. Oh, I Thanks, fucking love man. it. Oh, it looks great on him. He's yeah, a really stylish it guy. It works. Yeah. He's, he actually was interested in the workshops, too. Yeah, you wouldn't think it would work, but it works. So, yeah. Nice style choice. Appreciate awesome, you, brother. Yeah, cheers. Um, yeah, that's amazing. So you've done work with him. Did you also yeah, we're do? Huge fans with uh, him. Yeah. Oh, sorry, this. Um, trying to get this thing. Oh yeah, here we go. It's a uh, Tony. No, Tony Casey. Troy. Sorry, Troy. Troy. K- yeah. So Troy. Troy. Um, this for people that we played. Oh yeah, this yeah. guy. Oh. Great. He's got a nice hairy penis. Yeah. He does? Yeah, we got naked and did butthole sunning in Venice oh. a few years ago. I've heard that's very good for you. Venice it is so good. No, in Cali. Okay. Yeah. His penis is hairy, though. So, it's very hairy, which is, I think, good because in Chinese medicine, the penis and the ball hair is the extra bravery energy of the lungs. If you need more bravery energy, grow out your pussy and ball hair. So should, is that say, are, are you, is there something bad about trimming the area? Because a lot of people you trim. You can, okay. like, for example, if you're doing fellatio, sometimes that gets stuck in the teeth. Sure. But I can really recommend just try growing it out. Grow it just out. Just feel it. Now, yeah. Will, a lot of um, Asian guys we've seen are into ball slaps and like yeah. the, the monks will kick themselves in the, have be yes. kicked in the, in the jungle. Iron what is that Qigong. about? Yeah. What, what is What's that? What's that all about? The Taoist monks had to be really, really good warriors. They weren't just sitting and meditating all day, oh, which here, is why the, I love this lineage. Pull this down again because we don't want to cover oh, your face. Sorry. thank you. No, thank there you. There you go. I love this lineage because it's a householder's lineage. It's not, let's just atrophy our legs and sit cross-legged for the rest of our lives and be vegan. It's like, let's be in the world. Let's actually grow our propensity to be good warriors. Because if you're not a warrior, you become a warrior. And so they would kick each other in the balls. So incoming invaders. Yeah. For example, the Chinese have ripped and pillaged the Tibetans for ages and they weren't doing this. And they're just constantly sending love and compassion, just sugarcoating their primal rage. Mm. And they all get diabetes. They're yeah. literally sugarcoating their rage. Wow. So in ancient China, they would slap each other's nuts. I've seen videos um, where one of the monks gets on two kind of elevated platforms mm-hmm. and he, he literally swings a swing set from his genitals mm-hmm. with his Taoist bros being swung. Wow. It's bonding. Yeah. I've seen them pull cars with their genitals. Incredible. It's amazing. So it's, it was actually a way to get a full body strengthening to be the ultimate Taoist monk warrior. Those guys are the shit. I kind of yeah. like that because yeah. it is a nature of man to beat the fuck out of something, to conquer yes, something. And that's to. so true that I think it was Dave, I've heard David Goggins say, yeah. men become warriors, women become warriors. It's that a feminine happen. trait and to be a warrior. There's not very war. many men left because of all the chemicalization. Yeah. So we're all kind of becoming um, pinched, pinched off chemicalized women. Yeah. yeah. Basically. I believe that too. Superfood, yeah. semen retention, sex, kung fu to get back on track. Drink semen retention pee. is a good one. Hold in your seed. Retention. Hold it. How long should you hold it for? Tw- try to jack your four. You said you're 40, what? 44. Yeah. So in the Tao, we say um, when you're at that age, like twice, twice a month would be good. How okay. long is he supposed to hold on to it for? Twice so a month. Tr- try to hold Let in your semen oh. and just come once every two weeks, basically. Oh, that's okay. not going to happen at your house. <laughs> Well, I can no teach way. you. No I'll thanks, Tom Hanks. I'll send you some of my tutorial videos. Yeah. And then you can practice with you, Christina. You can, and you could do some of those where you don't ejaculate, right? That's, that's, that's the, the whole goal. practice. Yeah. That's fun. And then you, you should pra- do that. Yeah, yeah, you practice on yourself. So do you like to choke the chicken? Yeah, that's right. Uh, yeah. Nice. I, I uh, wax my carrot. Yeah. Mm, I love that. Yeah. <laughs> so basically, <laughs> think of it as. <laughs> but less, much less than I used to. Good. Yeah. Well, in moderation, and I want you to think of your your master because masturbation is a Victorian term, which means self pollution. Oh. So let's think of it as solo. We call it solo cultivation. Mm-hmm. Montauk Chia calls it solar or self cultivation. Think of it as like training ground when you're self pleasuring for the more advanced practice of making love with your wife. Yes. Oh wow. We call this dual cultivation. Yes. That's really nice. Right. So you're strengthening your pussy with the jade egg. Yes. Hanging you things. Do it. I am doing. You're it stroking right now. your manhood. Yep. 
with a, uh, like a bit of coconut oil and natural oil. Nice. Right. Play like with your balls uh -huh. because mm -hmm. the balls relate to the entire endocrine system. Mm -hmm. And basically you can, I mean, there's other things called the juicer. You juice your cock. How much time should I put into this all, like daily? 20 minutes. 20 oh, minutes wow. a day. Yeah. And you can do what we call the core four to warm up. So do a bit of breath work. Shake, 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 shake. You can also do some of the slapping while you're shaking. Mm -hmm. uh, spinal cord breathing. You're in a horse stance, a nice bent knee stance, which also releases testosterone because you're working yeah. the biggest muscles in your body. And then last but not least, what we call the testicle breathing. Okay. So basically massage your balls mm. every morning in the shower. Mm -hmm. Do you ever have a cold shower? Uh, I do a cold plunge. Good. Yeah. Yeah. So that strengthens the nervous system so you can channelize more love and sexual energy. Mm -hmm. So you massage your balls twice your age and you can massage your ovaries. Twice your age? Twice your age. Every Ooh. morning in the shower. Okay. Turn the shower cold and just smile into your beautiful, we call them the dragon pearls. Mm. Uh -huh. And we call your penis the jade stalk or the lingam, pillar of light. Yeah. What do your testes feel like? What do your ovaries feel like right now, uh, brothers and sisters? I mean, I'm tingling. Mm, good. Me too. Smile into that feeling, turning mm. it into joy. And then inhale, let your sack drop. So this is more for the male teachings because obviously that's what I focus on most. Inhale, the sack drops. Inhale, the ovaries swell. And then exhale, pull your sack up towards your body and spiral the energy up the back, down the front of each testicle. Mm. Feels so good. It does feel good. Right? Yeah. And what you'll find is through the testiculum, our testicles will sync up in a bit of the ovarian energy too because sex is meant to be balancing. So... It doesn't have to be a male and a female. It could be a male and another male with a divine feminine essence, uh -huh. right? Because attraction is based in polarity. I work mostly with men who are into women. So my goal is to help shunt the men more into their divine masculine. Yeah. So they become more attractive to and attracted to very highly feminine beings, yeah. which tend to be females. There's another thing that can happen. Montauk Chia says when two people with a divine masculine essence come together, Sexually, it's like two rocks charging to create even more sun energy, even more yang energy or yang as it's actually pronounced. Wow. Yeah. So there's different dynamics, but generally want to balance the male and female through the sexual experience. Do you think of yourself then as an, like an incredible lover? Do you feel like you're very, you know, highly attuned to? Well, I've been celibate. For what? three years. Really? Yeah. Because I realized I was addicted to ejaculation. And I was addicted to looking for love in all the wrong places, mm -hmm. right? So going onto Tinder and just spending too much time swiping. I wasn't even really having that much intimacy. It was just swipe, swipe, swipe. So I thought, okay, superfood, semen retention, sex, kung fu. By the way, this is not alcohol. I had my let, because it does, I no. thought, oh, are they drinking beer every time no. they do the, no. no. <laughs> so I thought, you know, I need to stop drinking. So May 3rd, 2020, I had my last drink and it was the best choice of my life. Mm-hmm because it helped me think more clearly and it helped to develop what we call the self-sensory system. So your subtlety, drugs mm -hmm. and alcohol kind of numb you. And then you don't have the subtlety and sensitivity of your self-sensory system to really enjoy these technologies. So does your celibacy uh, extend to even self-release or are you allowed to, to I, release yourself? I'm allowed to release myself. Okay. So I usually release once or twice a month. Okay. But more often than not, when I'm doing my personal practice, I'm training my ability to master that ability to separate orgasm from ejaculation. Yes. So that we can choose when we want to ejaculate. Like I was like, should I ejaculate before this podcast? Mm -hmm. So oh. about three or four days ago, I came. I didn't come like right in the bathroom. Oh, I got you. But oh, I just okay. thought, okay, because I've been holding in for about a month and I thought, okay, wow. I've got a lot of ball energy. I'm going to be flying. I do notice that it like, so I used to- too much in that cramped yeah. plane, you know? I used to yeah. just like jack all the time. And then I noticed that like, sometimes, you know, I'm on the road and I'm in a hotel room. And that was when you, you kind of go, okay. And then I noticed that when I retain for the weekend of shows, mm -hmm. I just do feel more energized. Thanks. Fuck so yeah, bro. Bro. Thanks, bro. Fuck yes. Thank you. Yeah. And then yeah. he brings it's home different that for women, by energy the way. to me. Yes. Yeah. Women uh, are sexually superior to men, mm -hmm. Montauk Chia says. And so we need to train and we need to hold in our seed more often than not, yes. more often than the average bear. So that's really good that you realize that that there is an energetic difference. A wanna, lot of wrestlers do that too. I want to ask you this because you mentioned your father's a doctor. Yes. So what are your, like your parents? They're the see, best. And they, they, it makes uh, you want to cry because since 2020, our yeah. relationship has only gotten like immensely better. They it was never be. really bad, but like we've just found so much common ground. What do they think of like your practice and what you do and all that? 
they're very conservative. Mm -hmm. And so we focus more on yummy recipes. Oh, I got you. You know, I cook, yeah. you know, I don't cook with cum, obviously. Yeah, that'd be, yeah. Right? I just, we just, I, I make bread for them. Oh, and, nice. you know, we hang out a lot. Usually they're once also a week. In, in, in yeah, Vancouver? they're in Vancouver. Oh, nice. And um, we talk more about like running. Like I'm an ultra marathon runner. Are you really? Yes. You do like the 100 mm. mile runs and everything? 50K. 50. Jeez. That's kind of my. Jesus. Yeah. Do you run Christ. barefoot? I feel I like do. you would. Yeah. I do. I, I wear What's these things called K Earth Runners. In, uh, in miles. What does that work out to? That would be about what, 30 miles? Shit. Wow. Because so a marathon is 26.2. I've done correct. four marathons in my Earth Runners, which are earthrunners.com this guy wears them too yeah. my buddy mick who's who's backstage wears them too they're really good because they've got yeah, a grounding miles. jesus cord they've wow. got a sorry a grounding piece a copper piece that threads silver into the laces yeah so you're it's like you're barefoot got you so then you don't step on glass or something yeah. how often so do you run every day or i run well for the month of january to train for this ultra marathon in may i ran i think 420 kilometers total wow jeez and um, I really like to go from my place downtown Vancouver and just run up. Sometimes I'll run up and then do the grouse grind. Like it's, cr it seems crazy. You ever but do a 5K? since I've been holding in my semen, it's so much easier. Yes. You ever do a 5K? Oh, it's kind of boring. <laughs> but I, I think it's the, good. And for anybody max. wanting to do barefoot, start with 5K. <laughs> yeah. Right. I had to start with very small distances because our feet have been atrophied in these foot coffins, yes. mm -hmm. mainstream shoes. You mm -hmm. don't want to just go from, you know, zero to hero right away. No. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, we're, we're, we're doing a 5K in May. So. Good for you guys. Yeah, yeah. Is it like the Austin 5K or? No, it's going to, it's, um, it's, we're actually having a bunch of, I don't think we've announced the location yet, but it's, okay. uh, it's one that we're putting on okay. that um, a lot of comedians are going to go participate in. Good for yeah. you. Yeah, it'd be good. Um, okay, look, where can people find you? Like, I, I mean, where, first of all, what's your Instagram handle? We'll put it in so the description. I, I'm on my 10th account. 10th? Yes. They 10th? I think because I talk about like things that, you know, are a little bit hot button. Uh-huh. But I've kind of learned, right? So x.com, aka Twitter, is yes. really good for just being balls to the wall. Yes. Literally, my balls are out. Yep. My venus is out. Whereas... um not will blunderfield is a little bit tamer so if you don't like full-on nudity follow not will blunderfield on instagram not will blunderfield on instagram yes. and then on twitter twitter it's uh w blunderfield and w. that's only for not safe for work okay so really that's if you want to see the real work the whole work the whole yes. work being done yeah um, and, and you can join my only fans like if you want to oh. do a deeper dive oh, yeah great like i do basically little clips on twitter and then if you want to actually learn all the technologies go to my only fans which is it's uh, uh onlyfans.com slash will blunderfield okay and then i have manhood academy just go to will oh, okay. and oh, it's my things. full online school well there you go will yeah. sorry amazing, will blunderfield will. .ca? yeah dot com somebody's trying to pretend to be me so it's dot ca dot Jeez. ca that's important so silly canadian rep only so um yeah. yeah this is like so fascinating i love that you're canadian by the way i didn't I know. know that yep. i'm okay. I'm proud. I'm working yeah. on getting on. I want to do more stuff in Canada because I yes. really do enjoy going there. It's so it's fun. Beautiful. Well, I'll it be up beautiful. there. You got to come this yeah. uh, when I when I, I would I love to. Okay. I actually live like right next door to Malkin Bowl where you're going to be performing. You got to so come. So I have out, to man. come. Perfect. Yeah. Right. Maybe we'll do set some it up. We'll cupping set it up. before that. the okay. show, you know? Is that, yeah, we could do breath work before the show. That'd be great. No, I said yes. cupping. Yeah, cupping. Yeah, cupping. Yeah, sure. Well, Sarah McLaughlin, she does yoga backstage before the show. I think if we can do some cupping, that can really help to elevate the frequency. Bobby Lee will be there and he'll definitely be into that. Yes, um, he seemed, I think he would be. He, I think he would really <laughs> um, Yeah, well, thank you for coming, Thank Will. you so this much, Such a blast. Thanks thank for, you guys. for teaching us so much. You guys and are so sweet. And you guys know where to go. Uh, follow Will, and we'll see you thank soon. Thank you, guys. Bye. Satnam. Namaste. Welcome back, and we are thrilled to bring back one of the all-time greats, one of our all-time favorites, our dear, dear friend, who will be launching a brand new show right here. You can see it. Tonight, for the first time, if you're a channel member, it's called Behind the Jeans. It's Josh Potter, everybody. Woo! Let's go. This is big time. Ooh. Who is Randy? Don't bring anyone's mother into this. <laughs> Come on, the fucking stands. Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> Play the whole thing. No, I'm just oh, kidding. It man. was long. You are, um, you're back, dude. We're super excited. I'm so excited. psyched, dude. Thanks for excited. having me back. Yeah. Behind the jeans. Behind the jeans. We've um, missed you, cockroach. I've missed y'all. We missed you a lot. So it was fun long. hanging last night. Yes, dude. Um, we've done some the dates. The road's been fun, too, yeah. obviously. We're Can't wait to go dates. out. Yep. We have, we have some more dates coming up. Let's go. Let's go. Um, so tell everybody because this this I, I think this was your idea you yeah. you let us know about and i was like this is fucking rad yeah i pitched this bad boy i there's two pronged uh fun for me a 
the whole thing about uh, behind the jeans is it's kind of like uh, we talked about the Stern wrap up show. Yeah. Yes. Also, it's kind of like talk soup a little bit, you know, with yeah. uh, taking clips from all the your mom's house universe, all the shows and dis- dissecting them, discussing them, figuring out some some things maybe that uh, people hadn't thought about. And then people in the chat because it's live, can interact with me and give their two cents, too. Uh, So that part's very fun. So, you know, it'll air every Wednesday night at uh, 5 p.m. Central. Yes. Right? So 6 Eastern for YouTube channel members. And then the next day, it becomes available for everyone. Yes. So if you want to do it live. Yeah, if you are. I mean, there's so many YouTube channel members already and yes. they're getting ad free content already yes. and things so now they get an added show and they can participate live that's and if you're cool. not a member yet you can sign up you can sign up um so yeah i'm super stoked and i think behind the jeans is is a perfect title for yes. it and you'll talk about all the shows so that people know all the shows every okay. show in the universe all right cool cool, cool. The channel. i love this because so many of the topics we can only go into for so long right on your mom's house and i often even find myself thinking about things oh i wish i had brought that up and Mm-hmm. This is a nice way for the fans to engage as well and yeah. get their two cents. Yeah, in. if they're like, if you're ever finding yourself like in your car driving, listening, and you're yelling at your dashboard about something, you know, I mean, this is the place to chime in. Yeah, chime I love in. that. <laughs> you know, chime in about us, yell at us. Sure. <laughs> yeah. Sure. I'll field those questions. Mm-hmm. I mean, look, as a super fan, I was for many years of the Howard Stern show. One thing that always bothered me about the wrap up show is that I feel like they weren't talking about Howard and Robin. And really, always, not at all, huh? Not. You they would think didn't. that that would be. One of the big things to talk about. <laughs> I know, and I wanted to know how they felt about stuff. So sure. I'm, I'm open to that. I think I'm excited be about it. Fun. Here's a good talking point. Is this crossing a line? Is this too much? Send me that. Yeah. No, I walked over here and you're about to like, send me that. This lady has no shame. Is that just sampling makeup or is that blackface? I don't think he can see. I can't tell. This is so wild. <laughs> <laughs> is she this is so shameful. Yes. Why this is, is she is doing? so shameful. Why is she even doing that? Like. <laughs> But doesn't that kind of, I mean, is, that looks to be kind of like a mud mask, like when people do that? Oh, she yeah. could be doing like a Maybe clay she's saving mask. time. She's like, you know what? I'm going to apply my mask and then I'm just going to well, grocery what shop. What is she applying though? Is it a know. mask or is it actual foundation? She did it in the store though, in yes. The, yeah, it looks like it. That's Using crazy. Using the makeup samples for, it says for blackface, but do you think she's just like, nah. ha I think it's actually more egregious that she used that much makeup in the sample section. That's like, going up, that's like going into Costco and taking the whole platter of pigs in a yeah, blanket. And like, and I think I do like this. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> this does taste pretty good. Thank you for that. Yeah, the yeah. sample isn't for your entire face. Yeah. Can I tell you what annoys me about Sephora? I know what? you guys don't go in there often. Yeah, what's that? No. But they kind of force the inclusion shit on you when you go in there. They like, want you to do Yeah, blackface. like they'll have like a model, like, you know, they have posters with the girls with the makeup on and like the model will have like a million different skin disorders and you're like, dude, the point of makeup is to cover that shit up so that you look perfect. Oh, so she has warts and Or no, alopecia and- or like lump, like in perfect skin or like it'll be like a, it'll be like a dude with a beard. Mm. <laughs> makeup on and you're like yeah but that's not like how many dudes and beards are in Sephora buying makeup and the ad isn't to like be like hey cover that shit up here's some no, Sephora it's, oh okay the, the ad is the bullshit of like you're just we beautiful makeup, the way you are yeah. it's like no mm. no you're not that's why you're in Sephora yeah because you're trying to hide your imperfections yeah, it seems counterintuitive to that's what I'm saying and I'm like I don't want to look like a guy with a beard I want to look like the pretty hot model yeah and if you I'm... have al- uh, what's alopecia that's the hair or if you have like yeah. rosacea or something don't right. you want to conceal that this isn't the Wait, whole point right. vitiligo I'm... vitiligo sorry that's what okay. I meant. With the, the thing Michael Jackson supposedly had. You have that? I don't have that oh, yet. No. Oh, you should get that. You think I should get vitiligo? Yeah, that'd be awesome. <laughs> what would you? T- yeah, you would turn really you look white. like a Dalmatian. You look like yeah. powder. That'd I mean, be rad. Avoiding the sun, you you know, just like the Koreans. It's just like, <laughs> it's just like the Koreans. <laughs> yeah, it's just like the Koreans, man. <laughs> yeah. Do they do that for any men's things where like they force this inclusion when it doesn't make sense in the product? Um, I'm trying to think. Well, they're on? all doing like I was. T- my fucking god! I was at uh, what at one of the um, athletic wear stores, and they were like, it had like Run Ambassador. I think I sent you a photo. <laughs> it's a legless man. <laughs> no, it was just a fucking like three hundred pound lady. Yeah, and, like, and you're like, <laughs> no, she does. Well, who better to be a Run Ambassador <laughs> than come on? Because that's that's the whole thing now. Is that everybody's everything. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, but I know, mean, hey, who? I mean, if. Someone should be running. It's that lady, right? It is. I mean, if you're gonna, if you got to give her an ambassador title to incentivize her, then yeah. I that's guess true. So be it. 
That we is gotta true. give her royalty. You gotta You're give the her. princess of running. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations. All You're the senator of running. Fucking 295 of you. <laughs> yeah. Um what oh. is the uh what's the thing that men that they try to make us feel like everybody can participate now? It's tough. I don't think there's very much men. No, because the marketing and now like that is considered a, a certain type of marketing. And the marketing, like the companies that do manly shit, like yes. if it's like hunting, or, they're not interested. It's in not the, inclusive. Yeah, they're, in fact, they're, they're like, you yeah. can't do this, you <laughs> fucking <laughs> pussy bitch. Get yeah, out of here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they don't do that. Yeah. yeah. And uh, if it is inclusive, it's like, a girl's doing it too. So yeah, here you exactly. go. Here's a girl doing it. Yeah, that's about as far as we're going to go. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Some girls are capable. Yeah, and Chick did it, so. <laughs> yeah. Knife companies don't be like, even no. whoever. Yeah. No, yeah. they actually well, don't yeah. want you to buy. They'll be like, "Don't buy my shit." Yeah, you yeah. fucking. But I kind bitch. of respect that because, like, that's fine. That's fine. I don't need to be included in everything. I'm cool. Yeah, there's some brands I would love to be an endorser. It's of. It's the big Bud Light lesson, basically. Yes, yes. exactly. That's what it is. They're like, "Don't do that." Don't yeah, do there's that. some out there that I think I would love to endorse so I could tank the the marketing. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Yeah, just some outdoors business or something. Yeah. You know, where I'm like, yeah, I have that. Or lens craft, especially yeah. if you showed up in your in your short shorts and your crop top. <laughs> if you did it in that, they would be like, "Hey, Montana knives." <laughs> <laughs> you get hey. a cease and desist right oh, away, yeah, real yeah, quick. Yeah. yeah, we don't know this guy. Mm-mm. He's just some fucking Fruit Loop from LA. Yeah, yeah. You ever want to whittle your butt plug down? <laughs> get a Montana knife. <laughs> Find the right shape for you. You know who asshole. we haven't heard from in forever? Ooh, that we love. actually have an update for. Look at this. Ooh. We haven't we haven't seen this guy in forever. I got a question <gasps> Ooh, for favorite. you. What if I broke into your house, <laughs> woke you up with a big kiss, oh, oh, gave you a nice hot shower, yeah. and made breakfast for you? That's so nice. That's the break in. Pampered you all day. Break, yeah. Why did you have to break? Gave Breaking and worshiping. Rub, <laughs> gave you a foot rub. Okay. And gave you a butt rub. Oh, oh nice. Oh, I like that. Okay. And put lotion all over that beautiful body. Oh, what yeah. would you do? What would you do? Calm what probably. will you do? Yeah. What will you do? Scream. It went from what would you do to what will you do? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what would That's and on will the you agenda do? for today. <laughs> is this is this a Well, first of all, it's breaking in. Yeah, why the breaking That's, in? Yeah, it's breaking and worshiping. Can yeah. I, can't That's I invite true. him in? <laughs> There's no charges <laughs> yeah, for that. Yeah, yeah. See, I mean, I would invite a gentleman in. I don't to do get all why he has things. to of all the wonderful things he was claiming to yeah. do there, he has to break in to do them. I mean, get a key. Get a key. Yeah. That's the Look fetish, the maybe? Is this, a, mm. is this in the porno world, like breaking in? And... Well, you know, he's an aggressive lover. He's, yeah. He, he's just know. a big lover. What will you do? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and interesting, I think he's outdoors for this one. Yeah, it looks like he's by the pool, probably getting the tan. You know, it's sure. overcast day, but, you know. Or in the park. That would be wild. Shirtless in the park, in the park is a is We a should move. say, though, this is an evolution. <laughs> Because it yes. used to be just like, good morning, get your feet on the ground. Yeah. He didn't mention his queens. <laughs> and now he's like, I'm breaking in your fucking yeah. house. <laughs> it's like a real yeah. step up, you know. He's making Total. breakfast, though. It's like, that's a weird one to wake up to. You're like, was that the door downstairs? <laughs> I smell bacon. It's so weird. <laughs> it's also important to remember, Bundy started by just watching porn, you know. Yeah. And, yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Bundy would let him over to his own house, wouldn't yeah. he? Or no, it was, that was uh, Dahmer that would let them at his oh house. yeah his place yeah, yeah you just didn't leave and watch video yeah, tapes. yeah gonna yeah. watch the tapes with me i don't think this guy can climb in through the window that's uh, tough for no. him yeah i mean no. the, unless it's a bay window or uh... <laughs> oh good news we have a second video hold on oh follow up. oh yeah the king wants to eat frosting off your titties oh yeah <laughs> <laughs> let me suck on them nipples nice. a lot oh. less uh flowery narrative with that <laughs> yeah. one he just went straight to the point i kind of like that he has both sides yeah, yeah. No, there's one really right. romantic and then he's real horny right now yeah that first one was a real like romance novel and this mm-hmm. one what if i broke we just got house. tits and frosting Wow. Well, that's usually how these guys go. It starts off with a soft pitch, and then it becomes aggressive. Well, they, you know, just like us, they have to make content every day, and some days <laughs> they just go, God, you know, I don't got anything in the tank. No. Nope. I'm mm-hmm. going to lick the frosting off your tits. Good, yeah, I did my job did for my the thing, day. Yeah. Yeah. Let me suck on them nipples. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> No, uh, shirt shirt on when he's in the uh, cab of the truck there. Well, yeah. so he's on duty. Yeah, you can't okay. drive shirtless. No, no. Damn, no. that's a shame. Yeah. Yeah. I know. It's really good to see him, though. We haven't seen Steve in yes, a while. Yes. He know. looks great. He does. Look, he actually does. I think he's lost a few LBs. Yeah. Yeah. He looks tan. He's out in the sun. You know, he looks good. 
no kings and queens talk. Though. I haven't seen him on the talk doing it. I Maybe don't... they banned, like they flagged all his queens videos. Yeah, because I follow him and I haven't seen any updates of his work. I'm he's upset. evolved. He's out. He's like, I don't do that anymore. Yeah, yeah. maybe. Try oh, try Googling King, King and Queens. Queens. Thing? Uh, yeah, call me in 2019. <laughs> yeah. God. Tells me you're not, not a real fan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you're still citing King and Queens. <laughs> <laughs> Queens above 18. Yeah. And if you want to buy a shirt. Oh. 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 Like, oh see, he's, he's still. Yeah, still up. Wow. Ooh, what's that skull Let's face? Let's see the one? latest. Oh, that second one looks real good. I like that one. <laughs> and Queens above 18. How are we doing this morning? I'm good. good. Yes, yeah, it's time to wake up, put them feet on the ground, let's take off running. Let's take have off. a good day today. Thank okay. Remember, no bra day. Oh, yeah. Continuing oh. all year. Come on. All year. It's not all right. Okay, so it's <laughs> no all year. All right, my day. All year long. You have a wonderful day. I got to do a video. And uh, oh. if you guys right. need anything, you let me know. I'll okay. let you know. Get on my page and watch the new video that I got to do. You'll love it. That, okay. That's the one with the tits. Wonderful day, and I will see you tonight. I'm going to try to go Is live. that like a Fabio guy, guy behind him? Is that? Come I think it's kind of how, I kinda think that's that how he imagines himself. Yeah. Like the guy in the back with the flowing hair. Definitely. Oh, my God. That's how you know? I, I have phantom hair all the time. Yeah. By the way, who announces the video they're going to make? Yeah. It's a go, teaser. He's hey, this is just more content. You know, hey, later on today, there's going to be a video popping off. And where's that video going to be? Is it going to be here? <laughs> yeah, or is yeah, it another yeah. place? <laughs> it's sort of like when you order the shirt. He's like, send Deborah an email. <laughs> yeah. She'll send a message to Rebecca who will tell me. And then I, but you don't pay her. You pay, just pay me and then tell me the size. You tell her the address. And you're like, what the <laughs> fuck? Horrible. Oh, my God. What's his next video? Yeah, what's, what's, the, his, big, what's the big reveal? Uh, there's like, ooh, come on, time oh, to wake up. Whoa, oh, it's always time to wake come up. Come on, time to go to work. Is this what he was promoting? Oh, come on, right there you are. Oh, oh this is shit. terrifying. Yes, <laughs> it's time to get up and start that new job today at the dental office. Oh, oh, yes, how specific? Your King Alex is very proud oh, of he, you. This is a cameo type um, thing. Damn. Very proud, and he can't wait. To take you on a nice date. That's cool. This is weird cucking that he's doing eyes. here. Come on. All right. Wow. You do have big, beautiful mommy milkers. Jesus. Wow, they are nice. I was told they were nice. Yeah, <laughs> I don't like the angle. No, my being hands over. are sweating. I'm so like, nervous. I like the lighting. The light, it's Come like up. he's over me right now. I just feel rub? okay. I can feel rub? the pressure. There uh, you go. Shit. Alex is a real thoughtful boyfriend. All right. <laughs> now, in this scenario, is Alex underneath okay. him also? I don't know. Alex just invited <laughs> Steve right, in. Put our feet on the ground and take off running. Come okay. on. What's he you doing? got a busy day today is on that humping? new job. You got a new job. Uh, yes, I love your big mommy milk. Oh, uh, God, stop uh, saying that. Right. Also, what woman's like, oh, you did it. Day, you booked this video. I will talk like, to you soon. God, I'm from, so wet. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, yes. Yes. Yeah, yeah, I can see if they're like, oh, John Stamos. Cool. Yeah. But like, <laughs> this is who you booked for me? Happy video Valentine's Day. Only Where you. is he? He loves you. This is his he bed? Loves you very much. It's a nice bed. Is Where that the is ceiling? That's the ceiling. You have a good no, day. He got some money, dude. That soon. looks That's good. A hell of a I love ceiling. you, my queen. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we're, we're good. That's yeah, a hell of a ceiling. Yeah. He's looking over us. We're supposed to be waking up. The point of view. It's a great directorial. But I don't uh, think that's what he was promoting. I think he was promoting something entirely different. There'll be a new video up. This is like a. Oh, no. Yeah. That was just a random yeah. video. What's that second one there? <laughs> I just like this. Good morning, my kings and okay. queens above 18. How are we doing this morning? We're good. We're good. Thanks yes, it's time asking. to wake up, put them feet on the ground, and take off running. running. <laughs> Let's have a good day today. Remember, no, no bra day. No bra this no. year. Continuing all year. year Come on. Year. <laughs> all right, my queen. I all right, that. my kings. Yes. You have a wonderful day. Thank I got to do a video. And, this is what we just uh, watched. If you guys it? need anything, you let me know. This is different? Yeah. <laughs> this yeah. Feels Get on identical. my page and watch the new video that I got to yeah. do. You'll There's love it. Where the hell is it? A lot more energy, this one. Yeah. <laughs> I had yeah, no idea it was no bra day all year. 18. How are we doing this morning? Time to put Get them feet on, on the ground and take off. Open them big, beautiful eyes and let's go. 
Remember, no, no be kind to people out oh. there today. Okay. Tell everybody that they matter and that you love them. Well, sometimes and he does this. Just try yeah, to help sweet. any way you can. Okay, I think we're good. No Thanks. broad day. Thank you. No Bye. broad day. It's all, all year. year. All year. I had no idea. I have not been celebrating. I've been really like, uh, <laughs> God, no what a terrible day. Christian I am. Yeah, there's it's uh, it's no broad day every year. Yeah, the real Christians celebrate no broad day all year. <sighs> um. Have you know? Do you know that we have um, we've discovered this whole lane of people who vacation in <laughs> undesirable places? Oh, I saw the Disney people. You did, yeah. Was that yeah. Did, uh, was no. that? That's part a of different. That? That's kind of like just weird adults. Mm. But the um, these are people who go to like North Korea. Oh, uh, Syria. Because I like vacationing in America. Like I'll go to like Fargo. Really? Yeah, like random. Like if I find a hotel that I like or something, and just kick it there for a week. Yes, really, because nobody goes there. It's fun. Oh, that's kind of nice. And there's like a nice restaurant or something. And then you'll spend a whole like just, just alone a, time, like a weekend or whatever. Really? Yeah. Well, hmm. this is a little different. This is this like, is like North Korea. You yeah. Said. Do you, you like Fargo? Why don't you check out yeah. Iraq? This okay. is our first day as Americans visiting Iraq. <laughs> our flight landed in Baghdad at 5 a.m. And yes, there's always a bit of apprehension <laughs> arriving to certain countries. Because oh, yeah. I'm a woman. Got a big welcome to Iraq big from the welcome. immigration officer and felt safe the entire time. She's we blonde started with too. this delicious yeah. donut-like pastry for breakfast before exchanging money since international cards don't work in Iraq. Then we visited <laughs> so many incredible historic sites like one of the oldest universities in the world. Felt like we had the entire place to ourselves. Oh, I wonder why. Yeah, yeah. That's, uh, that's the, one of the oldest universities in the world hasn't been attended Stop for in food, 20 years. Voted down the Tigris River, stopped for juice, visited my personal favorite, the markets, drank tea at this 100 year old cafe whose owner lost his four sons in an explosion that happened on this street, met what some the? of the friendliest people, wow. and took lots of selfies, stopped for more food, visited a monument that Saddam had built, and as if we hadn't eaten enough food, we were then told it was time for Dinner. Follow along to see more of what it's like to visit Iraq. I mean, I thought I was going to end with her being beheaded. I yeah. thought for yeah. sure. I mean, a blonde woman. It's so dangerous. Like that. You got to tie that hair back, lady. Can I it's tell you so something, upsetting Josh? how happy they look in this final I frame. I hate it. I when, mean, they died, right? When I, no, when I no. went to the Middle East the first time, I dyed my hair brown, remember? Yeah. Because I was a blondie. And yeah, because they, you just stand out. Yeah. And they want to take pictures. They were of like, I remember my you. cousin, we went to um, Morocco. And she like put her hair in a, she put like a, whatever they call it, a thing around her head. Mm -hmm. Yeah, hijab. Just hijab. A, yeah, 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 kind of. But like really just a, a rag or whatever. <laughs> Wrapped her head up in it. And then, you know, because people were coming up to her like she was a supermodel. Yeah. They're like, oh they my God, blondes. oh my God. I'm like, you're going to get fucking. Yeah. Too much attention. Taken here. Yeah. Tooken. Tooken. Yeah, tooken. But at least she's covered her arms and legs, which is smart because sometimes, you know, women don't want to do that when they go mm. to these places. You know, yeah. You really Wear cover the booty up shorts. Sleeve. That'd be a cool move. <laughs> <laughs> that would, I got to see that one. How much I, does this cost, too? Like the whole it's trip? Yeah, it's yeah. a uh, flight to Baghdad, it was Josh. It $132. Yeah, yeah. Dollars. $132. <laughs> yeah. How, how do you? Get how do you there? even get to Baghdad? Yeah, I mean that is a lot of layovers. <laughs> I'd imagine you're going. You got to go to a few dicey airports. <laughs> well, you go on Qatar Airways. That's a lot of flying. To look Royal at, look at the uh, how many stops is it? <laughs> Why? The, this, <laughs> it's oh, twenty nine yeah. hours. Yeah. That's crazy. It's a Five lot of flying. Five days later, the last plane is pulled by a donkey. <laughs> Wait, does does LAX? Connect there? It's a direct from LAX. That'd be crazy. That's insane. I'd go, go right Qatar. now. For the, I'd really? go for the show. <laughs> no. Austin. Yeah. It says yeah. two stop. Wait. Yeah. There's no. There's no. There's direct no direct from to Austin. Baghdad, and if there is, <laughs> that's Qatar. Everyone oh, so yeah. on the, uh, so it goes LAX to Qatar. Ah. Yeah. And, and you Qatar. can go from Qatar to, to Baghdad. Baghdad. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah. That sounds great. Like taking note. <laughs> How would you like Should to I go? do a show from uh, Baghdad? That'd be pretty cool. <laughs> Can we introduce a segment of your show where you start going to these places too? Yes. <laughs> yeah. I'm you like Anthony Bourdain of danger. Yeah. <laughs> ah, I like how she's surprised that nobody's at the monuments. Yeah. Nobody's where is everybody? It's like we have the place to ourselves. <laughs> yeah, you, I thought this would be do. high tourism hours. Yeah. Not what? a lot of people checking out Saddam's palaces. Uh, 
That's what that one guy said who was in another war zone. He's like, there's nobody on the road. It's totally safe. (laughs) It was weird when she started saying some, I forget even what it was, but she was saying some extreme things in there a little bit. You know, I thought she was going to come across. She's like, this child was gassed. Yeah, she was like, this we ate here and then we ate at this place (laughs) and the owner's four sons were killed in an explosion (laughs) here. Anyway, anyway, dinner was awesome. Boy, oh boy, the grape leaves. Hummus is delicious. (laughs) (laughs) Totally crazy. Baghdad. I can't think of a worse place I'd want to go. Oh, well, maybe some of the uh, other areas around there. You know? Yeah, <laughs> they find them these two. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's just these two people. Yeah. Every time. There's a few of these crackers. God, that I go hope she gets. I mean, to these awful places, and they think it's charming to be like, "We're going to North Korea," even though we're told not to. Yeah, See, yeah. It's not so. There's bad. this thing like, that's really bad. upsetting when somebody goes, "But we're nice." <laughs> that they think that that, you know what I mean? Like that buys you. We'll be okay. We're passage, nice. safe passage. Like mm-hmm. we're super nice and we're, we're just open and we want to learn. And they're like, we don't give a fuck if you want to learn yeah. about our culture. Like, get don't the fuck give a out fuck. of here. Yeah. I mean, the, the funny thing is we're just never going to know uh, what happens until they just stop making videos. Well, there will so be a, you know. until, until there's, there's a New, New York video. Post article, yeah. like a couple died. I thought an influencer <laughs> couple was killed in Baghdad yesterday. <laughs> we'll be like, huh? who is that? Oh, it's those two. Sadly, their insides were strewn upon the street. Anyway. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. Weather has been out of control. The week. woman was. <laughs> we don't want to talk about it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Airtight. She did, for however, sure. not have on a bra because it's no bra day all year. <laughs> Dude, I remember being in the Middle East, the UAE, during Ramadan, and I wanted to eat Chinese food during the day. Mm. And I was in like a nice westernized hotel, and they even put up like barriers so that, you know, you're not being disrespectful yeah. to the religion. Like you mm. have to eat behind Gross. barriers so that the religious police don't come and arrest you. And You're going to a fucking... No. Abu Dhabi or something. Yeah, Abu Dhabi. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> that was Dubai. I think I was in. Yeah, you're going um, there. Are you yeah. scared? No, that no, one's I'm actually. Sorry. like... No, he's got nothing to fear. Guys are fine. Ah, true. This dumb dumb. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're I not was going, with the I military. I was okay. Yeah. Dumb broads. Yeah. This time you get a Saudi prince. He's got some. Come fuck my women and <laughs> ride my draft or whatever. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> you yeah, say yeah, so, yeah. boss. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. Um, have you followed um, any of the? We we found these um, these outlier influencers mm. uh, into different fashion and different um, lanes of of life. That Tony P. Are you a Tony P. fan? Ooh, I love Tony P. Yeah, I got some Tony P. stuff Let's here. Let's go. This guy. Wow. Look at the edits. Oh, the jog, navy suit. He's so adorable. Dependability. I thought uh, this was going to be like one of those girls that changes every time they jump or whatever, you know? Oh, yeah. That's how they do that. He no. looks great. And he really puts it out there that he's um, usually like looking for love, right? Mm-hmm. It's like, here's what a bachelor does and oh. all the things that, you know. This is what I'm missing, that is. Is what okay, Tony folks, saying. let's get ready for the day when you oversleep your alarm. Oh, my goodness. Since my timeline was shorter than usual, <laughs> I dashed to the shower to clean up in under five minutes by using some morning music as my timer. I then broke some land speed records in picking out my clothes, where I still maintained my commitment to a vibrant, sophisticated fit. Wow. After getting dressed, I realized I needed breakfast and the clock was ticking. Uh oh. Could you imagine setting up the camera for all this? No wonder <laughs> yeah, you're hurry. late for everything, you fucking idiot. I mean, <laughs> yeah. stop setting up your camera and shooting all this. I'd put it up once and I'd be like, all right, here's my getting out of bed shot. And I'd be like, what the fuck am I doing? Yeah. I it quit. takes a lot. Yeah. That's a lot. So I decided today was a Dunkin' Day and I took out my phone and ordered my usual latte. I mean, that's a, a lot of work to screen grab all some this. Intense yes. deliberation, a chocolate frosted donut because I thought I deserved a little shots. extra sweetness yeah. for the day ahead. Since I ordered on the Dunkin' app, there was no need to rush, so I was able to de-stress for a few minutes and make sure the hair was in tip-top shape wow. before heading out for the day. Once I arrived at Dunkin', my order was right there waiting for me, and I was able to actually eat breakfast in peace for a few minutes before making awesome. it to the office in time late. for my... I thought he was late. Too. I thought he yeah, was late, well, and, and then he's like, "And then I was fired from my job because I showed up four hours late from editing this video all morning." Hey, this is, by the he way, looks great, I'd like to meet he a woman, great. but I spend yeah. all my time editing these videos, so I can't possibly make a human connection with anybody. Here's There's me uh, attempting. What do you think? It. Is? I would love to see you and him go out in the town together. I think that would be. Oh I'd be like, God. put your fucking phone down. <laughs> 
with You're his a fucking uh, jerk. I'm trying to do junior coke in CNN here. CNN correspondent looking no. ass. No, oh, that's, <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> hey, Broccoli, that was a good one. <laughs> <laughs> Which side of those blue trousers do you run your massive hog down, Tom? <laughs> Yeah. Jeff Nemeth. This is the kind of thing I want on the show when we do behind the jeans. Come on. That in ain't the only energy. chocolate hole you slammed this morning, is it, Tone? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah Daddy it. Crane got you, dog. <laughs> <laughs> got My wife ass. forgot to wake you up when she left. Sorry, Tone. Damn. <laughs> Yeah, they, they yeah. Really... If this guy gets laid, is he gonna put it up? He's like, and then I did missionary position, and then <laughs> we switched to doggy, and then she decided to suck my penis dry. I mean, it's... God, I, I hope so. Big here she really, and I came inside of her. <laughs> Here's where she really spit all over it. It was awesome. <laughs> that is a man late for work, ready to accept the termination in a vibrant, masculine manner. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that is, yep. that's good Comments stuff. are fun. Yes, they are. God, they're yeah. fun. It is a good time. Some of the great writers out there. There's some really I fun. I in the comments. Tony, Tony P is my Andrew Tate. Yeah. yeah. What is this? Do you guys know what he does for work? I don't know. I mean, he's in D.C. It feels like he would be like a, like a, whatever, one of like the, not an intern, but whatever's right above that. Yeah. You know? Like in some congressional Or he's just office. one of these dopes that goes to like a WeWork and is like, well, I did my emails. <laughs> You know, yeah. <laughs> they just show up at these offices. They don't really work for anybody. But... Yeah. No, he dresses too well. I he think does he's dress really money. nice. Yeah. He's dressed up scratch. to brush his teeth for the yeah. video. He was oh, brushing his sweet. teeth with a tie on. Yeah, yeah. he's always really, really well dressed. I would put the tie on after. Yeah. Maybe I should hook Chase up with Tony P. You think that could, that could happen? Don't do that to poor Chase. I know. <laughs> I, I like him, though. He's sweet. Mm. Oh, he's a consultant at a management consulting firm. Oh, that's, see, that's a fake job. People do. That's, a, yeah, that's not real. Oh, I'm a co manager at a consulting firm. That's like oh, when somebody so knows I do import-export. Yeah, 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 yeah. Drugs. Okay, cool. Yeah. Yeah, sure. I, mean, I mean, there's a lot of office jobs where I just go, that's fake, right? Like, yeah. That's not real. I yeah. know. What's There's up? not like a welder or something, you know? That'd be What's cool. up with the um, the Josh P. love life? Oh, you know, we're trying to get out there. I, you know what I've, I've learned at 38 years old? It mm. took me this long to figure it out. Getting laid is easy. Yeah. It's finding a connection mm. with someone that's the hard part. Oh, I like this, Josh. Yeah. Yeah, this is new for you. Yeah, it, had to, it took me this long to figure it out. Turns out getting laid is the part that I didn't have to worry about. It's someone tolerating my presence for... Mm. A long enough time, you know, yeah, where it could be permanent. That's real intimacy, actually. Yes, exactly. Yes. Yeah. Which helps come it. Turns yeah, it does. Out. Look yeah, at that. That's what we, we figured out, folks. That. That's what we figured out. Yes. Look at that. Yeah. Wow. I, oh, Look wow. At that. The boys in the booth yeah, are so moved. It's, uh, it's they don't hard. do that a lot. That's no. really special. Yeah. yeah. No, they don't do that a lot. They, they don't, don't clap. do that a lot. No. Oh, clap! I see. Yeah. I thought you no. meant. Oh, they come a lot, but they okay. don't clap a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's exciting, Josh. Do you know? What type of woman you're looking for? Well, I'd like to uh, get a, get with a warmer lady than my past uh, efforts. You know, that would be nice. Mm -hmm. Someone who's Someone kind, warm and kind. Yes, kind is, goes a long way. Yes, because before, I mean, my dick would get real hard when they were like mean and icy. Yeah. But then it turns out it doesn't last. Yeah. <laughs> no, you need a nice person. Yeah. So, hey, back to the drawing board. Okay. Well, I'm excited. You know? I'm excited for what the future holds for you. What about age range? Oh boy, it's becoming the bottom is becoming a low a lot lower, you know what I mean? Like uh, as I get older. Yeah. It's just kind of getting the ceiling's getting a little close, you know. Yeah. <laughs> how 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 high will you go? I've gone pretty high. You have? Yeah, I think I think I date the one time I dated a girl was like 44 when I was like 30. Yeah. Oh, okay. So you're not, not that opposed. that increases your chance of finding a, a, a empathetic yeah. How young will you go right person. now? And I'm saying this as myself included. Yeah. The older it goes, though, we tend to be some discards up here at this age range if we're still not with somebody, yeah. you know? So you got to kind of, sometimes you get a younger one. Yeah, but do you want children and a family and stuff? Kind of. Oh, you do? I mean, a little. I mean, I, I'm not opposed to it. It would be nice. So you got to go someone kind of younger. You got to get a little fertile one because yeah, if you're, Otherwise you get a Riri. Yeah. Pop out. I mean, we're already dealing with a, not a full deck over here. Sure. Yeah. Genetically as it is, I don't want to. I don't want to risk having a fucking. <laughs> yeah, you know, yeah. smooth know. brain child. Yeah. Well, real, if you meet a broad, yeah, you know, real wethead. If you yeah. meet a broad, that's on her last call mm -hmm. 
for making babies. Oh, that could you mean be great like too. That's, but do you want the that's last ideal. couple of eggs in there? I hey, mean, let me tell you something. My second, <laughs> my second ones, kid or? was made on my last egg. It was the last one. I mean, he's well, totally healthy. One of them. Sweet. Yeah, it's mm. not the last one, but I but mean, you know, one of the last few. You ever, you, I, you ever uh, had a bad omelet? <laughs> You're still good. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. Annie, uh, Annie Letterman, one of my best friends, she froze for embryos. She said she doesn't. She's not going to use them. Also, she'll hook me up one with with one for my wow. eyes. Oh, cool! Yeah, nice. for my I'll use its eyes or whatever. Yeah, you'll use its eyes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Take its eyes out. I mean, we got to use them somehow. They're just sitting in the fridge. Yeah, that's true. Somebody's got to use them. Yeah, now they're people. So that's what they say. That's what they, that is what they say. They're people um, now. Dang. Well, I think you're going to find love. I think it's it's coming right. I hope so. Around the corner for yeah, you. I nice. think you will too. Um, that being said. I heard you bitches was looking for me. Ooh. I haven't heard my intro song in a while. I've missed it. Yeah. I've right. missed the TikToks. You know I can't wait goes. to see your curations. Let's it's see. day seven on the wall. <laughs> Sunny morning. Day morning. seven. Fingernail check. It's also no bra really day. Thought, just needs that. You didn't see that? I have so many that questions. yesterday. <sighs> so wow, far. these are looking gruesome. And that one's a little, a little painful. Yeah. Yep, you kill. Yep. Go into the top. Well, if you're listening, this, uh, they're climbing a flat side of a mountain. <laughs> and not only that, that sleeping, sleeping on, it, yeah. on it, because they don't want to, you know, get off, yeah. pull over. That's yeah. really high up. Holy it. shit. So I have so many questions. A, I guess as a man. Oh, we're going to go up to the ship's prow next. This doesn't tickle Whoa, my... Slipping the no. edge. No. One more pitch for tonight. How do you shit? Also, Day number one. You, you just shit. Oh, it's easy as shit. Shitting's probably the easiest thing. You just shit. Off the fucking off cliff. Off of the cliff? Yeah. Dude, no way. Why? You know how much anxiety you would have? Uh, I mean, you're don't. on there the whole time. You're sleeping up there. You might as well shit. How That's the funnest part. Is you, imagine just dropping a shit and having it go all the way down. That's fun. The other thing is, like, if, if something went horribly... That's, That's American fun right there. If something went horribly wrong here. Like, yeah. I'm saying just like, let's say your equipment, right? <laughs> like, be, like, yeah. like you didn't yeah, fall yeah, and die. Yeah, yeah. They're just like, yeah. oh, we can't, we can't go any further. Yeah. N no one ever is going to walk by. You know what I mean? Like no. you just have, you just sit, you just sit. It would be funny. <laughs> just when like they're sleeping on the thing and it just yeah. goes, yeah. <laughs> and they're like, ah. <laughs> they're just hanging there for like a week. <laughs> You yes. just oh. someone would just eventually find dead bodies. Yeah, yeah, or vultures. Well, you could see it from the bottom. You'd be yeah. like, "What the hell's up there hanging?" Oh, oh. they've been up there for a minute. Yeah, <laughs> bones Those are and stuff. decomposed. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, <laughs> last night at camp. Oh, last night at camp. What a, what a wall! What a wall! Oh boy, so incredible. worth it. <laughs> Worth it. So look at that. That's what they climbed up. Jesus. Okay, Tom, I now, wouldn't it be fun? The, the best part about that would be shitting off of that. Oh, pissing. I, I think if you're a man, peeing off that would be pretty fun. It would be fun, though, to watch somebody else shit off there and be just watch That'd the shit hilarious. fall all the way down. Okay, yeah. but I have a question. And taking for paper you. and just throwing it behind it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Tom, hmm. would you rather do the cave? diving where you're in the wall. narrow spaces or sleeping Can't, but you're sleeping on the wall sleep on the wall 100 percent. shitting on the wall Not shit on the wall on the fuck wall. on the wall jack up on the wall <laughs> live on the wall what do you think josh i think what do you wall, over the cave is the cave like you have to swim under the water yes. no the Ti cave no. is a tight space no i don't like that yeah. at all yeah, yeah no. i'd rather be on the I'd wall i'd rather be on the wall i <laughs> jizz off the wall i jerk off off the wall i'd make her watch and she'd be like i don't want to do this i'm like shut up shut up that's why we came up here we have to fuck in that thing too yeah on that thing on the side of the wall. You would die. You would break it so fast. Oh, no. That's I'm how not you fucking, break it. You have to fuck gently. It. That's yeah. all. Just <laughs> quiet. Just slow. Fuck, dude. You know how cold it is up there, too? You know how uh, fucking cold it is? Yeah, it's cold. Mm. It is cold. It I love, sucks. I probably like the that altitude part. sucks. <laughs> <laughs> He's up there on a bird, like a bird. <laughs> This guy, he just makes random talks. Yeah. I like his. I stuff. like him. Yeah, he's rad. He's got a good uh, disposition. Yeah, You're making the most of what Was you got. Is that a bird sound or a dog? Oh, it's not, I think it's a bird. Mm. Thank you for including this. <laughs> you were obviously all starving on the mountains. What did that feel like with the starvation and the intense cold? Eh, eh, el hambre es diferente acá. El hambre que tenemos there. ahora de ir a almorzar o de ir a comer. Es un hambre diferente cuando pasan varios días. 
he's saying that it was, it's, it's different when you go, oh, I'm hungry for lunch. I'm hungry for dinner. It's different yeah. than the, the hunger you feel when you haven't eaten for days. Que lo único que sentís es un dolor en el estómago y sabes que si no comes te morís. O sea, es una cosa más die. razonada. Cuando recibimos la noticia en el día 10 de que no nos buscaba. And they got the news on day 10 that the, that the search had been called off. Es cuando empieza a surgir en todos al mismo tiempo la única idea posible que es la de alimentarnos de nuestros compañeros muertos porque no hay otra chance. La primera cosa que hicimos fue un pacto solemne entre todos nosotros. And he's saying that at that point they realized that the only way that they could survive would be if they were to consume one another, their dead friends. Que si alguno de nosotros moría quedaba a disposición de los demás. Y la segunda cosa que hicimos fue encomendarle a los estudiantes de medicina que habían asumido su rol de médicos que se ocuparan del asunto y se ocuparon. And then they made the agreement that if they the pact that if they died Uh, they told their friends, like, you can use my body, you can eat my body. Yeah. And then they put the, the friends that were medical students in charge of, like, okay, cut the, them up. You're the and, cooks. Yeah, I wouldn't cooks. do that. I'd give it to my best chef friend, like Bert. Yeah. Bert barbecues nightly. And Bert does cook a lot. But can he, um, like, say you gave him a regular chicken. Right. Would he, he know how to cut it up? Yeah. Yeah. I think he could. I don't know. I've, I've done, I butchered an emu with him, you know. Mm. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. What do you do? I, I did most of the cutting. Oh, so you're the one that's going to cut the bodies, clearly. I think he would enjoy that part. Yeah, this one? Yeah. Yeah, big hard on. Now, did they wait for the people to die, or were they like, <laughs> Jeff, <laughs> could you, Jeff you're weakest. pretty close, <laughs> yeah. and you're fat. <laughs> <laughs> we kind of don't want you what to be you less say, fat. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Jeff, you're going to die soon, right? I mean, what do yeah. you say? Pobre los estudiantes de medicina. Un estudiante de medicina de primer año nunca había visto tampoco un muerto. Digo, pero como habían asumido su rol y, y se creían médicos realmente, asumieron ese rol y resolvimos un tema que teníamos que resolver porque nosotros teníamos el más sagrado de los derechos, que era el derecho a la vida y el derecho a volver a casa. Yeah. I think I would... Uh, if they, if I knew that the search was called off too, on top of everything else, I'd be like, y'all can just eat me. I'm done. I'm, what are we living oh, for? Yeah. What's the, I, it's like those, uh, apocalypse movies. I'm always like, yeah. why are they, what are they trying to live for? Yeah. Why are you trying to live? Yeah, hey, why don't you suck. get that rock and smash yeah, my exactly. head open? Yeah. <laughs> How yeah. do you want me to go out? You want well, me to. <laughs> this is interesting. They dried the meat from the bodies in the sun to make yeah. it edible. I mean, I would prefer a uh, fire, like a smoked, wood smoked mm, flavoring uh, on this. Who knows what their fire resources were, though. Yeah, yeah, well. I can make a fucking fire out of nothing. Yeah, There I would go. figure that shit out, too, dude. I could do that. You're that What kind of pussy resilient? can't make a fucking fire? Well, plus, bro, bitch, you <laughs> smoke cigarettes now, yes. so like you probably have a lighter on you at the time of the crash. That's true, that's We true. We would have relied on you for If it down. was sunny and dry, though, I feel like I could make a fucking fire out of nothing. That yeah. was the one, I, during New Year's Eve, I did acid, and I went camping, and it like fixed my brain in ways you can't understand. Well, wow. now and you want I a made, relationship, yeah. What's that? Now you want a relationship. Sure. But I, uh, I, I made fire out of nothing because it was so hot. Like the desert was so dry. I could just, and it came to be. Damn. Then I just used the breath in my lungs in the hot coals the rest of the week. Dang. Look at that. Yeah, That's I felt like a real man. That's I made me feel capable. That's you guys totally have permission to eat me if we get into it. Yeah, I would never want to live because it's First. like. Yeah, I don't care. I'll die quickest probably. I'd be like, get rid of me. I mean, what are we trying to do here? Yeah, and I'm real fatty and probably delicious <laughs> i'm probably tastier than both of you i'm so probably I'm, uh, real stringy like a horse <laughs> you know <laughs> <We're> like <stringy. laughs> I'm, yeah. I'm like a delicious fucking new york strip though you think so total probs yeah yeah you've been working out i got lot. some meat i got some fat yeah good ribs i think mm. they, these would be like this would be like going to franklin's this would be fucking delicious <laughs> dude that's true actually you might be the tastiest i'm like yeah. a kobe beef mm -hmm. i'm just been massaged yeah i'm like a chicken mcnugget that's what that's yeah. that's what you just want a few bites of you're like it's just, it's yeah i'm like wagyu <laughs> i'm yeah. just all fat yeah i'm like the goo they pour out and oh meat. cool this is uh this guy, all eggs yeah so this guy his whole account is dedicated to eating raw eggs Jesus. every single oh day oh my god and he's drinking two steins full of yeah, raw that's, eggs it's, this is just rocky dude i know but that's like yeah, three but eggs so bro. many and oh. he's gonna drink the second one 
Oh, so Jesus. rad, dude. Look at him. He's about to puke. He's yeah. going to hold it in and drink the second Stein. You don't need to do this. There's so Why many. Why is he doing this? And he's this, dead. This is his hook, guys. Everybody's got a hook. Oh, uh, is this, this, this hook. What is the verdict on raw eggs? Like, at one point it was like, that's what you do when you go to <laughs> box or whatever. Yeah. And now it's like, then it was like, it's completely unhealthy <laughs> for you. Well, you but I feel like it's come back around, you know? Okay, you I do feel salmonella? like it's come back around, too. I do, I do. Yeah, there's like been a report where it's like, actually, this guy's no, shaking. Good He's having like a little trembling. It's good for you. <laughs> yeah, that would have made me vomit. He looks like if we went to a bukkake. It's just like, it's, uh, uh. <laughs> Yeah, eggs, the liquid, when they're in liquid form like that, they're gross. I could probably handle doing one or two I could do one, yeah, yeah, for sure. One. I've definitely done one, just because yeah, when you're same. a kid and you see Rocky do it, you're like, like okay. Yeah. I'm going to do that. Rocky's a fucking man. Yeah, and I like a an raw egg. yolk. Like, I like a runny yolk. That's cool. Not like that. But not like that, no. bro. Drinking it all warm and shit? <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> So, ladies, if you're looking for a man who can make you laugh, I'm the man. Oh. If you're looking for a man <sighs> who loves to dance and can dip you, I'm the I'm your man. Okay. <laughs> if you're looking for a, a man that loves to shoot pool, I'm your man. Okay. If you're looking for a man who can beat the drums, I the I'm drums. your man. What? If you're looking for a man who is very romantic, I'm your man. Do you guys read off his handle so that the women can find him? Yeah, <laughs> sure. This is uh, at user 216077547835. That's, uh, Easy to remember. I like that he just named things that guys. He just saw a Robert Redford movie yeah. and he just started naming How many chicks chicken? out there love a guy that can shoot pool? Yeah, yeah. yeah. You want a guy who can <laughs> shoot tobacco? I'm your man. <laughs> you want a guy <laughs> who can drive a car real fast? It's uh, it, none, like, no, none of those appeal to women. No. None. Well, none I the... like to dip me while I dance. Sure. I like to shoot pool. Who's still like dipping the while they dance? Yeah, you like I don't to shoot know. pool. Who's You're going always like, dancing? Are we shooting pool? I like pool. Okay. Our, Remember, where was our first date? Yeah, no, okay. In a dirty, You're right, dive once bar in 20 in years we have shot Because we could smoke <laughs> cigarettes in there. Yeah, I know, okay. Yeah, but you make I it won. sound like you're at a pool hall, like, skadoosh, skadoosh, and you have your cue or whatever. <laughs> no, but I like it. Okay. I don't mind. That's the That gets the pussies wet when yeah. the guy has his own cue coming oh up with the little God. briefcase. <laughs> Chalks it up. Yeah. Ooh, oh, who is God, this they're guy? just dripping down, up and down the bar. Who is he? Oh, this is more egg stuff from the same guy? He's That's just him. obsessed with eggs. It's called the egg toy for ladies. Oh. I guess it's for ladies. Their bean? Yeah. Huh? Huh? Wait. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to need to know the engineering on how that I works again. Know. Wait, so that makes their clit? That flicks their clit? I guess. I, I don't know that that looks like it feels good. I don't like think it it'll work. Good. That doesn't that feel good. It hurts. Yeah, that, that's yeah. not. Hey, this the way this little wood stick yeah, bounced yeah, yeah, off yeah, my yeah, clam. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'd love to know what he does to eat pussy. Oh, stop. Oh, God. <laughs> no, Josh. Wait. He's at Did Predator you know in now? Pakistan you could go oh, to the yeah, dentist for only $5? Today I'm with a street <laughs> doctor cheap. and he gives everything from a general checkup, removing your wisdom tooth and replacing removing even falling out teeth. teeth. And where I'm from, that would cost easily $200. <laughs> so tell me, guys, when was your last dentist appointment and would you definitely come here? That's the dentist. Oh, uh, outside at a. <laughs> that's. I think that's the two hundred dollars. This would cost two hundred dollars. Yeah, so you can have a room that you're inside of. Yeah, a building, air conditioning, you know? sterilization. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is outside a tire shop, and he's just like <laughs> yeah. on the street, it's on the side of a off ramp. Well, my question is, how is he removing your wisdom teeth on the sidewalk? Because those are hard to get out. Usually, they have to break them. No, they can hold you down. Anesthesia. And, uh, yeah. yeah, they hold you down. Get some tools. Some, yeah. He didn't say it was easy. He said it was cheap. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Well, oh, thanks for setting up another. Hey, ladies. Thank oh, you. God, like I can't wait to see how to hit that G spot. Oh, there, there we go. go. <laughs> that would yeah. be there it is. me. There we go. There it is. That's what we were all waiting <laughs> for. Yeah. I'd love just, to watch him hit the G spot. Show me where it is. Just like, you know. <laughs> hey, get your feet on the ground. Take off. Show me those fucking tits, yep. you know? Oh, it always oh, flips. God. What else I'm, is he going to do? I'm Does he have more? Antic and I, yeah. yeah. I, I play, play pool. pool. Yeah. <laughs> Let me just eat your pussy. Hit the G spot. Uh, it always goes here. It always goes it's here. It's all a ruse till the, till this comes out. This is everything. This is Well, I'd venture to guess more women want him to hit the G spot than watch him play pool. That, this is going to, you know, 
don't know. It's going to work with somebody. <laughs> I'll take pool. I don't know. Oh, really? You don't want the G-spot hit? <laughs> <laughs> While he's, he's like... Uh, Eight ball corner pocket when hit the G spot. If you have to get, <laughs> if you guys have to make out with the king or him, who's it going to be? The king or him? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Does he have more? Is he going to say more here? No, that's it. Oh, it's just uh-oh. G spot. Yeah. Yeah. I was going to say my. Take the king because he's a little more socialized. I think I'm more familiar with the king, so I would feel yeah. better yeah. being more intimate with him. This definitely has more traits of mental illness, <laughs> like the the look and the style. You know, I he'd think, be an I aggressive think... kisser too. I don't think he's very like uh, receptive to a person's. And I actually think he's really he's really all about you. Got to praise him. You got to do things for this guy. You know, I think the king's happy to take care of you. Yeah, I, th- I don't think this guy really is. The king is a sensual man. Yeah, this guy, he's shooting pool. He's a real maverick cavalier. I don't know if yeah. I want to get get mixed up with him. Yeah, I don't. I don't know, man. I I think who would you make out with? The king. Yeah, I mean, I know him. I met him. Right. I yeah. like have rapport, like you were saying, Josh. I feel like this guy would have to. I'd have to really talk to him for a minute. I mean, one night of pool action—you never know. You're gonna be. <laughs> Let me suck on them nipples. Yeah. <laughs> That's one happening night at, too. Yeah, yeah. Don't forget that. Yeah. One night at the pool hall with this guy, though. Who knows? You could who be knows? Listening like, Hell yeah. <laughs> Put them feet on the ground. The king wants to eat frosting off your titties. <laughs> there you go. See, that makes me feel at least safe. <laughs> And you know what's so fucked up since I've had kids when he's like, I'm going to suck on your nipples. Yeah. I'm like, guess what my babies did. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's like my children. That'll ruin it for yeah. sure. Yeah. I like, mean, I, maybe for, even for the king, that'll get him off your <laughs> nipples. All right. Well, I look. I think I want to die. I think it's that was horrible. That is a perfect, my own TikTok spot me out. That's the perfect way to your end the show. Your own TikTok bothered you. When you're bummed out is when I, <laughs> by your own stuff. That's that's how you wrap up a show. Um, so we're super excited. Uh, Behind the Jeans premieres Ooh. tonight live for channel members only at 5 p.m. Central here on the YMH YouTube channel. It will be up for everyone tomorrow. It's Josh Potter's new weekly show. Behind yes, the I Jeans. can't wait. Get in the chat. Help us out and uh, give us. I mean, what you want to talk about too? Please. So yeah, yeah, know. yeah. Let I'm us excited. Know. Let us know. Um, thanks for coming, dude. Thank you. Can I plug Thank some Josh. dates? Of course. Yeah. Oh Please. my God, I have so many. Your, I, I won't uh, belabor the point. Take your time. Oh boy, I have so many dates for 2024, folks. Coming up here this week, I'm going to be at Chandler, Arizona, the Mike Drop Comedy Club. <laughs> April 26th and 27th, Huntsville, Alabama. May 3rd, Seattle, Washington. May 29th, Baltimore, Maryland. May 30th, Washington, D.C. May 31st, Pennsylvania. June 15th and 16th, Houston. And in August, I'll be in Omaha and Des Moines, Iowa. So get all the tickets up on my Instagram, on my Twitter. Go to the link and buy them. They're all on sale. There you go. Hell Um, yeah. Josh Potter, always great to see you. We Thanks, love you. Josh. We Thank miss you so much you. for having me. I love you guys. I'm so happy that uh, we're doing the show, and I can't wait to do it. All right, I can't wait for awesome. everyone to watch it. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for listening. We'll see you this next week. This is time. Who is Randy? Don't bring anyone's mother into this. Your mom in the fucking stands. Welcome. Welcome to your mom's house with Tom Segura. Tom Segura. And Christina Pashitsky. Christina Pashitsky. Welcome to your mom's house. Hey, you just watched an episode of your mom's house. I hope you enjoyed it. And if not, watch another one. Maybe you'll like that one. They're everywhere. Look, I don't know. Replace them in like cubes or or squares or whatever this is. Just click another one. Maybe you'll find one you like. Or someone will get hurt and everybody likes that. Don't forget to subscribe.